Hi, welcome to the Primal Prequels. Today we will begin on a journey through story, juice, and truth. This is the first installment of seven prequels. Who are we, you ask? Well, we're kind of like Goku from Dragon Ball. Aliens who have been deceived of their original mission by the wretched combination of gravitational pull and a steep canyon. Upon receiving brain damage, we have become impaired geniuses. Alas, we know not yet how we compare an intellect to the humans of today. But until then, hold up your mango juice for a toast to finding out. Is it testing out? Is it going to be between the 6 and the 12? Is it the same as a... Oh, yeah, it is kind of the same as like a... See how loud so like, like I said, uh, when you water the plants, you really have to be in tune with nature because when you're in tune with nature... The recording? Or it's just telling you... You almost this? feel the pussy veins what the hell? of the tree. Oh, damn. Do you smell that? What is that, oregano? Actually, not what the hell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's... <laughs> Wait, did you record it? Yeah, yeah it's recording. Uh, welcome to the Primal with uh, Jeremy and, our, and Armando. So, I was saying, like, what do you think about... <laughs> <laughs> Those, we were talking about this earlier, the topics. Like, I was, what do you think about, like, time traveling and stuff like that? Well, time travel, see. Okay, so, I know I welcomed you. <laughs> what happened, Jeremy? <laughs> what happened? So, here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen those memes? That meme that that dude with the science dude? Have you seen them? The science guy meme? His like hair's all messed up. He's no. like, and science or something like that. It's such bullshit. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, like this documentary dude. And you see this like crazy dude going like this. And his hair all like all messed up. You never seen it? I haven't seen it. Have you seen it? It reminds me, I don't know why it reminds you of you. <laughs> But, oh, no. Shit. We can start to shoot over. Oh. No, fuck it. We're already rolling. But you know, this is our first time. You know, <laughs> podcasting. You know, you know, things pretty cool. We watch like the Joe Rogan podcast. You're we too watch. fucking close to me. That's what it is. Am I too close? To you? <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> <I'm just> kidding. <laughs> you watch Joe Rogan podcast. What the podcast? You you watch the Fighter and a Kid? I don't. That's pretty funny too. Now nowadays I'm like, yeah, it's all right. Um, what other podcast is there? The last the last podcast I listened to was philosophical debate you know it wasn't like comedy mm -hmm. i'm more into comedy podcasts but mm -hmm. sometimes i get in this headspace where like i just want to like figure shit out mm -hmm. um not not in the sense that like i want to figure out what's right or wrong or i just want i just want to understand a couple things better so i just hear like these like scientists or philosophers like mm -hmm. like debate and shit and then it makes it easier for me to understand like what the hell are people arguing about now so I invited you from another planet. From another planet. And like, so so, what do you think about Earth? Like, how? If I were to if I were to come from another planet, I would see Earth. I would no, see you that are coming from another planet. You're true. you're from planet. I believe it's one two three four or one two five three. One two three four. One two three four. And so I've heard a lot about your planet. And. You know, for I guess I guess it's hard for me to relate because your planet is kind of bullshit, and oh, your planet kind of idolizes my planet. Oh, um, so I guess my question would be, does the hype live up? Does it? You like? Because you watch your movies, right? Mm -hmm. And you're a huge fan of Hollywood cinema. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, just just walk me through um, your idolization of. Of, uh, of, uh, of planet Earth. Planet Earth. I see it as a place of growth, but also destruction. You know, there's always all this destruction right now that people. Oh, your phone. Destro. There's <laughs> 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 still glasses out of nowhere. <laughs> that, but I was, if I was an alien coming into Earth. I would see these as people. I would see egos. I would see just a bunch of people with egos and so much emotion built up, you know. Can you like, expand on that? Like, because like, no one's really perfect, you know. Yeah. 
nowadays. Everybody has their flaws. So, so and if I feel an like alien were to come to this planet, do you think, like, a, it would mean that they're they're more technologically advanced, probably? So I feel like they're like robots. I feel like they, they don't have no emotions. They have no ego or anything. They just they do what they're told to do, and they're they're trying to do this like trying to accomplish this goal or whatever. But us, you know, we're like driven by by many things, you know, just sex. We're driven by by our family, you know. Are you talking about like from your personal life? Yes, just in general. <laughs> you bitch. <made it? laughs> no, but you're driven from many things, right? But yeah, and then I see could be either good or bad, you know. So I think if I I I came to this planet and I'm gonna make this question easier by assuming what kind of alien I am. Mm -hmm. So the kind of alien I am is is just the what, what crummy? the typical idea of an alien, which is you know technologically advanced, um, telepathic, um, way smarter than us, um, you know, uh, probably into some experimentation mm -hmm. of us, probably involved with the government. So you think right. they're already here? They're no, already, I'm, just, probably, I'm just assuming. They're probably already here, I'm guessing. I'm they're saying, already. I'm saying, I'm just taking a stance. So mm -hmm. these are those kinds of aliens. Mm -hmm. Now, what kind of master plan? What I think it's it's fun to talk about what kind of master plan. They're going to do it with the... Uh, God damn, that plane's so loud. <laughs> so <laughs> fucking loud. Uh, like, for all we know, that's an alien. Oh, they I found a now. way to manipulate the our sense of reality uh, with their superior technology, and so for all we know, that's not an airplane. We see an illusion, as an, it looks like an airplane. Yeah, but it might be a UFO. They're just maybe it's like two aliens fucking. And oh like, damn! In the sky, they just press the button. They press the the airplane button in the sky, and it was like this is our censorship from the human. He's on the fucking our sky though. And they're me, fucking in our skies. They're fucking in our skies. <laughs> How dare they? They're fucking, fucking in our skies. Jizzing, and when they jizz, they press the, they press the uh, firecracker button. The firecracker button. And Dude, what does that release? It just releases. Well, <laughs> a firecracker button. What does that release? <laughs> Which is visually, it looks like a firecracker. We look up, we hear the sound go pop pop. It's and like a little spark. And what we're yeah, actually plane, hearing. I think it's like, this alien ejaculation. What do you think about that? Damn, now I'm gonna think about you know, aliens having sex with every time I see a fucking plane. <laughs> What's in? How do these aliens look like? What do you think? How do well, they look? Like, you know, Hollywood has make them seem like they have their green, big heads. Well, what do they actually look like? You no, know, like that. I've heard that that uh, imagery of aliens. It's not necessarily um, a representation of aliens, but it's a representation of our next stage in evolution. So, like, big-ass mm. heads, skinny-ass mm. bodies. Oh, I never thought of that. We could um, be those aliens we're talking about. If aliens were to actually exist in our planet, mm. Hollywood, and if the government and Hollywood were connected, I'm making all sorts of assumptions right now because mm -hmm. I don't give a shit. <laughs> um then the aliens would probably wouldn't look like that. They'd probably look like some other shit. Mm -hmm. Or they probably wouldn't look like shit. Hmm. Yeah, like I wonder what they what would actually look like. We I wouldn't even call them aliens, I call them the uh, outsiders, you know? They're not the outsiders. Outsiders. That's not racist. No, no, like what? Bitch. <laughs> like, <I'll drive>. like <laughs> Mexico's outside of the Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> I guess you want to put it that. <laughs> no. But you know, aliens is just a word, you know. Yeah. Like they, we are aliens to them. We are the outsiders to them. We are the outsiders. So. And so maybe me saying that aliens fuck and ejaculate semen could be a projection of my human um, imagery. Like maybe. Maybe I'm saying too much. Maybe I'm assuming too much by even assuming that they jizz. Hmm. You agree with that? Think so. Well, it's a little confusing. I don't know. 
don't fucking know what I'm saying. <laughs> you're just randomly, you're <laughs> rambling off ejaculated aliens in the sky. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a projection or something. I mean, what? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I can't take a serious with the glasses. <laughs> I put the glasses on. <laughs> I put the sunglasses on. So like philosophical Jeremy right there. I put the regular glasses on. Same right. shape, clear. Back to the, Jer- the old Jeremy. That was All philosophical right. Jeremy, you guys. All right, let's 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 just like, oh, why do we do? Okay, so. Well, why are we doing it? Why, why are we, we doing this? You know, because um, it's funny. Like, we, it's weird, like, talking in the mic. Like, we could talk. It's fucking weird. This is probably going to be the worst one, but yeah. I feel like it's going to get better. Yeah. I mean, give us suggestions, people, you know? I guess. Okay. Get a crowd to go. Oh. There's like nobody watching. Nobody watching. <laughs> There's nobody watching. I don't, you're speaking into the future. That's pretty, <laughs> cool. That's pretty <laughs> deep, though. You're speaking uh, into the future. Make suggestions, yeah. So, future guess, Armando, don't be a dick. You know? Future Jeremy, uh, get your shit together. Yeah, same to you, Armando. Get to oh, maybe you got your shit together. I don't know. And I don't know when we'll we see this again. Okay, we... let's talk about something real. <laughs> let's talk about ATA. No, oh, ATA? Oh, sure. Yeah, what is... Can you, you, ex- can you explain what ATA is? ATA is, um... I forgot what it stands for. This is a screening that they have, like, like annual screening that they always have. What the... It's kind of wet, actually. I think it's Artist Television Access or Yeah, something? there we go. <laughs> but yeah, they have it every year, I guess, and I guess... SF State is like part of it. I don't even know when it got started. Like I don't even know when we this was started. Probably a few years ago back, because Paula has like a many DVDs of just the ATA shows. So I haven't even known you that long. I've only known you for wait like <laughs> three months or <laughs> something. Months? Well, since the beginning of the semester, basically. It yeah. went by fast. It went by really fast. I feel like this. I feel like every semester is going faster and faster. Yeah, like I just gotta yeah. keep keep up. It's like going incline too, you know. Mm-hmm. It's not going decline. It's just keep going incline, incline. Yeah. One time I'm gonna make a loop. And yeah, you can't, you can't really, you can't. So life just never stops. You gotta keep on walking. Yeah. You fall, but you gotta keep, you gotta stand up. That's cliche. So know? so, I just thought it'd be interesting to do a podcast. With, I think you brought it up first though. The podcast. Yeah. When? Oh yeah, who brought up the podcast? I don't no, I think um. So we take a video and sound class together, and um, we're working on this project, the Fear Flux Flower, which we submitted to a film festival. And our director Daniela was like, "You should do some voiceovers." And then um, June, our other team member, Asian girl, she was like, "Asian girl." She pointed well, this why mic at us. <laughs> wow, I'm just painting a visual. <laughs> well, they don't even know who we are. Oh, they don't have to know what we oh, are. Oh, okay. Actually, that's uh, why true. don't you guys guess, uh, future audience members? Comment, comment below. Like, if there's even comment below, maybe on the side and future. Um, like that shit might spill out by accident. Let's try not to though. <laughs> and so, Asian girl June was like, uh, "Hey guys, like, what do you? F- I don't know." She said some shit, and that whole shit kind of started sounding like a podcast. Oh, yeah. I think that's how it started. Oh, yeah, we recorded on the Zoom. Was it in the Zoom? Yeah, it was in the Zoom. Yeah, we recorded it. We, it kind of sounded like... Jeremy. Yeah. We had to take the carpet off. Right now? No, not now. I mean, l- later on. <laughs> Today, I... It's all leaking because it covered the water. Down there is a whole, whole ceiling. You're on a TV show. Say hi to my audience. That was David, that was my uh, that was my neighbor, that's Andy right there. That's Andy, the man Andy. I don't know. The homies. First time I've ever se- seen Andy, I don't know who that mm-hmm. guy is. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm on the top roof, okay, and then there's a ladder to go up to another roof, and they're doing construction. Popped up out of nowhere. You Sorry, came in. scared. Yeah, I was scared. I'm like, what, what's coming towards me? Hey, you're an alien, though. You can't be scared of what is above you because most of the time, that's what you are. Mm-hmm. It could be above another person. I'm not an alien to them. Right? What are you trying to say? You're tall? Like, no, you know, no. <laughs> philosophically. Oh, speaking. philosophically, you yeah. feel like you're ahead of people. You could be on top of someone else. Oh, philosophically or physically? <laughs> Maybe both. <laughs> 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 Why well, was speaking the physical fire, Jeremy? I don't know, because I see it in your face. 
<laughs> you see him in my face? I see him in your face. He's like right in my face? Yeah, I, I just, it's just like an open book. Oh shit. It's part of the reason why I appreciate you so much because you're open. Oh, thank you. That's what I'm saying. I try to be more open, you know? I feel like you just gotta tell the truth right away. You can't just tell lies. Is that how you, you approach women? They're both smiling. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got, I mean, depends. Like, sometimes I feel like you go into a conversation with the girl and you kind of like, you you don't lie on purpose. It's kind of like an accident because you want to, like, yeah. you want to show them you're like, yeah. you're this person. You're like, oh, shit, I could do this and that. You know what's the thing that yeah. I hate the most that I used to do with girls? Mm -hmm. It was like being way too agreeable. Hmm. What do you mean just agreeable? In, like in high school, like, um, I don't know, I would just find reasons to make connections to what they are interested in, mm -hmm. even though it was kind of bullshit. So, like, there was this girl that was like, oh, my God, I love Taylor Swift. And I was like, I was so honored to, to be like, oh, yeah, she's pretty cool. She's pretty and cool, but you actually didn't really I like didn't even, I didn't even like Taylor Swift. <laughs> and so I was like this, this, like, little kid baby mm -hmm. who couldn't distinct the difference between like liking someone i guess like how, how to like behave when you like someone I, I i think that was the wrong move hmm. like i don't think being overly agreeable is kind of like hmm. i don't know i feel like it's kind of unattractive that's what i think that's true no people like when they are when you like listen to them or like you just let them talk forever mm -hmm. like you just gotta let them talk and they'll and then they'll like you or and you even say anything they'll like you just because you listen to them and you yeah. let them talk like yeah. you, that's how people are nowadays yeah. and i feel like it's that juicy eye contact that you give them when you give them eye contact like oh juicy. maybe juicy you know, eye ju contact juicy eye, oh juicy eye contact so people are you girls or what are you talking in general just like just like the girls so people mm -hmm. you're attracted to yeah like in high school i mean in high school i was like a little awkward you know I was a little, a little shy i wasn't like super super out there. I mean I was kind of a little bit but I kind of kept to myself towards like the end years like the senior junior years because I was like I didn't really give a fuck I was like you know I was like what am I gonna do after high school I was thinking of that and I was just like I wasn't doing anything you know I was just like playing video games what games I, I was playing COD you know COD what's your COD pretty good at that's it. pretty good at it 3.5 KT when you're good okay, at I don't it that's some shit that will get you though when you're young and you're good at something. Oh, the story. Oh, you keep going. No, God. <laughs> I'm saying when you're young and good at something, you're gonna keep wanting to do it no matter what the fuck it is. Yeah. Yeah. And then I want to be the best in COD. I'm like, for a point, I'm like, what? and I was like, I was thinking about like, I'm gonna be the best at this video game. Like, I don't even want to do this. Like, yeah. What the fuck? yeah. I was pretty good with the throwing knife, you know, the throwing knife. In the See, game. I'm doing the same thing that I used to do with girls. I'm pretending that I know what you're talking about, but I really don't. No. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 well, look how it's shining right there. You see the little. You should take a picture. That looks a nice picture. With the ass? With the ass and the light shining. Well, I was gonna say, oh yeah. So, video games. To. If I would have done one thing different, it would have been like. Because, uh, there's. I was talking to this girl this one time around. Oh, sophomore shit. year. You were talking to this girl one time. Sophomore year. She's pretty cute. Should we say her name? No. How about, how about a... We'll give him a different name. Do you, how about a first name? What do you mean, <laughs> what? I mean, it doesn't give away the last name. But they didn't know who I'm talking, and then they already know. I mean, no one's going to listen to this. That's the That's whole point of this shit. Well, her name was Eva. Eva. She liked the different pronunciations. I just said Eva, whatever. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, she was pretty cute. Like, I knew her in middle school, too, and we liked each other in middle What's school. What's your Instagram? I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> she said, like, yeah, we kind of liked her in middle school. And then she hit me up back in high school. It was like sophomore year. And I was just like this little stud or whatever in high school. And it was in sophomore year. I was trying to get girls. But then I was with her for a little bit. I was talking to her. Not like going out, going out. Like we were going on little dates or whatever. But at one point I was like, there's a Xbox 360 that came out. And I was like, shit, I kind of want that Xbox 360. So I went, I went out to get the Xbox 360. I never, and I told her I can't go out with her just because oh, I didn't want to spend more money on her. And, uh, Swear to God. Well, I didn't say that, but it was about that was, that's, that was true. Was, that was the truth. Like I didn't want to spend more money. I wanted to save up for this Xbox yeah. 360. Yeah. It was like 350 dollars. I remember. So <laughs> I you remember. You didn't like her that much. 
No, I did like her, but I was so dumb that I, I really wanted this game too. I wanted this game console. <laughs> <laughs> so I ditched this girl for a game console, basically. Oh, shit. But like, looking back, like, did you really like her that much? You probably like the I, game way more. That's, there's no it's kind of like, I want the game too, but at the same time, I should have stayed with her too, you know? Uh, she was a good girl, and I felt bad, because I was kind of leading her on a little bit. And she was yeah. like, and she texted me too, like, oh, you let me on a little bit, and something like that. And like, I'm sorry, it's just can't at the moment <laughs> you know that bullshit talking yeah, like yeah. i was such a douche <laughs> a little douche talk what is the thing about guys and i'm not criticizing guys i just want to know mm. um that leads girls on i i do girls i guess girls do the same too right yeah they lead people so, on. oh yeah so they definitely is, lead is it, guys on is it the option thing is it just like leaving your options open and then closing the window on someone because you have a better option? Do you think that's what's kind, going on? Kind of. I feel like you kind of have to make it seem, make it seem like you don't care a little bit. Yeah. Fucking motorcycle, god damn it. Shit, probably loud. Loud as fuck. <laughs> but yeah, they seem... You gotta make it seem like you're not interested. And I think they like that because they like... Like they're trying to like... It's like don't chase the girl. Let her come to you, you know? Yeah. If you chase it too much, you'll be like, they're gonna be like, oh no, I got you, right? I can get you whenever I want, because you're chasing me. So we're thinking about naming this podcast Getting Prime. Getting Prime. That's one of our ideas, and it's kind of sticking. And I want to make a point that. Because we're Prime, we're like animals. I want to make a point that we're. In our DNA, we use. Yeah, we're fucking apes. Okay. Crazy, like, I'm a crazy ape. And I don't give a shit. I don't think I think many times we pretend we're not apes um, and and we get so caught up in you know, like some petty human shit mm-hmm. like just let me say my shit so uh, my, my point is very simple I just want to get primal and, and, and talk about the things that we can talk about no censorship, really? no censorship. No censorship. Yeah, I mean, right. I feel like... So like we can say spot. fuck shit slut. And we can say cunt slap dick. Yeah, we can say cunt slap dick. Slap was a good... You can <laughs> say can slap say, whatever you want, but you can... You can say booty, hole, <clears throat> and tongue. Okay? Yeah. I mean, that's not, not, not that many thing. people say cunt nowadays, do they? Right? Say what? Cunt? No, no. All right, why I not? Feel, I feel like that was, that's like a... I like that word, though. That's like I a, like that... Like, it's not a... Sounds good to you. Sounds good. Say saying bitch, I want to say cunt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're so like aggressive. It's a, I feel it's like a like very like European thing, no? Like, don't be aggressive. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if people like it if you call them. Maybe it was too strong or maybe too aggressive. That's yeah. why people don't use yeah. it. But I don't think it's aggressive. It's like saying bitch or fuck you. I'm like cunt. It's the same. Sh- I feel like it's even. Where did we come from? Oh, it was a cunt. Is a. It sounds more flowery. Poo tang, like, isn't it? Is it the mood? Poo tang? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Chris Rock, I think. Oh no, I've never seen it. Booty Tang. Booty Tang, that's what it's called. Booty Tang. Damn, Booty Tang. I'm thinking about Poo Tang, like yo, Poo Tang, the girls Poo Tang. Hey, you like, do you, do you like uh, stand comedy? I watch yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Booty I don't know. Like your faves. I don't really have favorites. I just like watch them on Netflix if I want. Like, oh, which which special is the special you liked? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think. The last one I watched, it was on Netflix. All these are on Netflix. Now on Netflix. Well, I saw the Joe Rogan one. Oh, you saw that one? The, the triggered one, one, I think. Yeah. Where he like talks like, like a devil at some point. Oh, he talks like, like a demon. A, I can't remember. I had to like, it's been a while. I think it was like, when it came out. Yeah. That's when I saw it. It was a pretty good special. I saw like maybe Louis C.K. some stuff, a little bit of See? that. I can't remember it's that much. Funny. I just know some old stuff. But I want to go back to watching them. You know. Yeah. yeah. Pretty funny. It's well. hard to not talk about Louis C.K. Mm-hmm. Oh, you didn't know about it, so I guess. What do you mean? Oh, like about whole, the thing that, that you're whole, talking about. Like, sexual misconduct. Thing. And then she he jacked off in front of a 17 year old? No, I don't think they were 17. I think they were oh, we working just... for him. Mm. Yeah, you just made that shit up in your face. We made that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about my situation. That's what happens, though. Like, people like find out about something and they, they add some shit onto it and mm. minus some other shit out of it. But I don't really want to get into that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I feel like there's a west spot over here, so I'm gonna put my. Oh, yeah, I'll put it on. 
You know, I don't like wet socks because then you put your pants on. Oh shit! I'm also getting me naked right now. Yeah. <laughs> We're like just wearing underwear because it's hot as fuck. It's hot as fuck. We're in like it's 90 degree weather, you know. We're in uh, LA right now. We're out on the beaches of Santa Monica. Oh, Santa Monica. That we stole that. <laughs> if we we're on the beaches. You know, when he was talking about the view and the ass, you already know he was looking at the view yeah, well, and the ass. And the ass. Or the ass and the view. Mm-hmm. Or they're one and the same. That's what I'm saying. Oh shit. Oh, look at you always with the puns. Oh damn. <laughs> Have a little sound effects in this, the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, do do. Do you know what else? ASMR is? ASMR? Yeah. What the hell is ASMR? I heard ASMR of it. ASMR is like... So, okay, ASMR. here's this Ritz cracker, right? And I just go... I think you were telling me about that. The sound. Tell me about the sound or what? Basically, they get up really close to the mic. Everything else is silent, but one sound. And so... It's like a thing that's supposed to relax you or make you feel good mm-hmm. before you go to bed. But then there's this like so sound is other so version of it that people just try to sound hella sexy. Mm. But it's mainly supposed, supposedly not about the sexy. It's supposed to be about the comfort that it brings. Mm. And so this I this is like a comfort me like it's comfortable like the sound mm-hmm. is very like soothing. Yeah, it's supposed it's like to be like. You know, you just like drop some rice and it's supposed to sound like... Like a little a raindrop. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to sound like raindrops or some shit. Something. It's getting cold up in here. It is a little cold, I right? know it was 90 degrees. It's My nipples are getting cold. It's getting real stiff. They're getting super stiff. It's looking like the leaning they're tower sh- of Pisa. They're sharp as hell right now. They get cut. It's a little though, right? Like, cut there's no way your nipples are straight up. They're not straight up. They're not straight up, right? They're straight towards you. Not like, <laughs> not you know, but if you're lying down, would they be like straight up? Like oh, they'll be straight up then. Like perfectly straight up. Per- they're pretty. Per- I'm touching them right now. Yeah, they're pretty. Per- <laughs> Hold up. Just, you go. Well, my nipples are small. They're like, they're like um, sand what? dunes. Sand dunes. Yeah, like sand dunes. What are those? Like the sand just kind of like meets in the middle, but it's not really that tall. Not to say it, like my nipple is like huge. Oh, they'll say yeah, like. But it, it just kind of like. A little it's just small very one. circular. Mine's pretty small, yeah. They're like. I guess they're not that cold for you. You're, you don't get cold nipples as often? I get cold nipples, but, like, it's not. I guess I'm wearing a jacket, that's why. <coughs> I'm wearing a jacket, but I guess still we broke the illusion that it's hot outside. It's really not. It's, yeah, it's super cold. Yeah, this really SF cold. weather, you know? Yeah, San Francisco up in here. It's about to be winter, you know? Yeah. So it's not. So, cuddle season. Cuddle season. Oh. You ready for cold season? Are you ready for cold? Oh. I don't have anywhere to go. They call I'm it. Cry, I'm gonna cry over here. <laughs> I, I've heard they call it cuffing season. Oh yeah, that's what yeah. it's called. When Why is it called cuffing? Cuffing season? is when you get someone just for so the winter and aggressive. No, no, you get. I think it's. Is it's it when like you get someone under arrest? Let me cuff you up right now. It's when you get someone for the winter. You get someone just for the winter and then you leave them afterwards. I think that's what happened with this girl. Oh, what last. was? With this girl. What girl? Some other girl. Oh. I haven't told you about the story. Oh, she didn't tell me about the story. Her name? Oh shit! Excuse me. What if she hears this too? All right. I well, feel like everybody. Well, well, give me a last name this time. I can't. That doesn't make it more obvious. Okay, her name. Is, all right, her name is Melissa. Oh shit, Melissa with two S's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um. Two S's. Continue. Two S's. <laughs> so is that what happened? Oh. A little bit of that too. Oh shit! <laughs> all right. But okay. no, I, I um. Day one, start, go. Day one. Okay, well, I didn't really have the same class with her. It was an RPT class. It was one of those, like, uh, it was called a play class or something like that. Process and play. Basically, you just play in that class. You learn about the play history. And, um... So it was, like, acting. Play acting. <laughs> what do you mean, play acting? No, like, no. like you play... No, you, pl- like, play. It's, like, a physical play. Like, basketball. Stuff like oh, that. Okay. You know, it's, like, a kinesiology department. Kinesiology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um... Yeah, I had her in that class, but I didn't really talk to her. Last semester, because I was talking to uh, some other girl. Oh, I was not really talking to some other girl. I was just I was talking to her, and I think she had a boyfriend too. I think she had, so I didn't really talk to her at all till the next Say semester. Say a few classy things about her. A few classy things about yeah, her. Stay classy, just for a moment before you get. Oh well, she was. Primal. I don't even know. I don't think I'm not sure if it's possible, but I can say things classy about her. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, I mean she. So she was a hoe. No, she, she was wasn't a straight, hoe. Straight hoe. She hoe. she dressed like. She was uh, slut. No, no, <laughs> damn. <laughs> she, she, like she was going to like 
work out. She always always wear like a like a cap, like a jogging pants, you know, just normal. What kind of cap? Like a swimming cap? What's going on? No, it's like a cap, like a baseball cap. Like a baseball cap. Oh, like oh, so she was kind of. She was always like a little bit. It looked like she was no. You could tell she wasn't co- tomboy, but you know she was just ath- an athletic look, basically. Okay, so she, like she wears like Jordan shit. No, she didn't wear oh, Jordan. No? <laughs> no, just regular running like Nike okay. shoes or whatever, okay, and okay. some yoga pants and a cap. She wouldn't wear like she wouldn't like dress up to class basically. Mm-hmm. That like you know some other girls are. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but um, I didn't talk to her until like next sem- like the following semester, and I hit her up on Snapchat. Like I very classy, very classy. Yeah, very, that's very classy right there. I went on the Snapchat and I hit her up and I talked to her. I was like, oh, this and that and that. And we were just, I, I think when she posted a snap about some like tequila or something like that, I'm like, oh yeah, like you gotta put some OJ in that tequila. I just, I just oh, made yeah. it like a little joke. She's like, haha. And then from there on out, we were just talking about a little alcohol while getting drunk. And then from there on, we were just talking about like, oh, like, uh, what are you doing now after that class? And uh, like, what's your major? You know, those little basic questions that we yeah. learn about each other after. You know, getting to know someone. Where are you from and all that. The whole formula. The whole formula to get to know a girl. And, yeah. And then ask her, like, oh, um, so I know this cool bar or this new, this brewery that just opened around my place. Oh, shit. So that's and actually how, did open it. That's how place. Armando makes moves. Now I know. And that's how it worked. Like, <laughs> that's, that's how that's it worked that day. Because she liked beer and then she liked drinking. So I was like, okay, there's a brewery around my place. So um, I was like, when are you free? She's like, that, that. I'm like, okay, that works for me. And we find out on this date. Mm. I'm like, hey, well, listen, I haven't seen you forever. I hugged her. And, you know, you got to hug her. Always, yeah. you, know? you can't not hug her. So, so like, when you go in for the hug, right, and say this is your first. I'm, like, nervous as shit. First like, quote, unquote, in. date, right? Mm-hmm. And so you go in for the hug. And so do you do the thing where you touch, like, like both fronts of your bodies, like, mesh together, just the surface? Or do you push through the surface first? Sur- la, la, la. So like like a front yeah. hug or like a side hug. Well, so what do you do? Do you like sque- it squeeze like it all together? Oh, you don't want to squeeze on? it too much. Yeah. You, you're not super BFF. I'm just asking. The fr- I'm not sure if it was. It was kind of like a how half you do it. Frontal hug. So it's like it's like a. So like it wasn't fully. It looks like close, you're you're boxing hook someone. I was about a hooker, you know. Was like <laughs> 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 liver puncher in there. About that. a hooker, that hooker. The hooker. Oh damn! <laughs> she was a hooker. Oh, damn. So you went like side hug, but like st- I went to a, it was a side, but then it converted to a front. Ah, oh, okay. So you went. So I was like, hey, I didn't I haven't seen so you. So you in a kind while. of pulled her in. It was like I haven't seen you in a while, but oh, I'm interested in you. Okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So the first one was the first side arm one was like, hey, I haven't seen you in a while. And, and then the other the arm, arm, the other arm goes like, oh, kind of attracted to you, and she was like, and she accepted it. I liked. That. I didn't bring her into me, but I was like, <laughs> we just kept it there. Oh, oh shit! You look like like no. by the end of that, you look like you're supposed to be in a coffin. Like both your arms are just <laughs> <You're> like, <this. laughs> like <laughs> come in here with me. Come in with me, the vampire. Till death do us part. <laughs> you know, slowly to go back, like, yeah. <laughs> like a roller coaster. But no. <laughs> so yeah, we just followed and then we went to the brewery, and then we're like, oh shit, well, let's get. They're like flights. You know what flights are? When you get them, like I don't know shit about drinking. When you go to a brewery, you could go like get a flight and like little. Little cups of different like uh, beer, so you can taste. It's like tasting like a uh, like wine tasting, but it's like beer tasting. So you get different little cups of like, yeah, they're called flights. You got like a little wooden little thing, and you put all those little cups. So you would drink them, and we're just like talking. We're getting a little buzz, you know. We're feeling each other, we're, like laughing a little bit. Can you talk about the nervousness a little bit? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the nervousness. Oh, ooh, that sunset though. Mm. But <laughs> the nervousness. No, it's, that it's sunset real. on that butt. On that butt. Damn that dragon. Just calling, just looking at me. You think better not look at me because I'm about to go there. And I well, I have a really nice Snapchat. Um, do you know that song "Fear" by Kendrick Lamar? Um, who's it called? I'm talking fear. And then he just like talks about all his fears and shit. Mm-hmm. And then um, yeah, it was basically I made like a little like song, Snapchat story, where it's like a movie, but I used one song. That was a song I used, and that thing looks creepy as fuck it's like a dragon statue mm-hmm. outside of my house my neighbors put it there because they thought it was for good luck or some shit i feel so like it's stuck into that yeah, right it is and so it has like little spider webs on its teeth from like the top to the bottom oh everywhere yeah. and it's kind of it's kind of gives me the creeps a little bit so oh anyway yeah. sorry for interrupting your story i mean what was i even saying <laughs> i'm thinking um, about the, the dragon you're talking about nervousness oh yeah the nervousness that, that, it was real you know 
when I said like, okay, let's, do you want to come, like, you want to go to a brewery or something like that? When I texted that or when I Snapchatted that, I'm like, shit, I regretted it a little bit. I was like, you know, you know, I feel like, fuck, I'm gonna have to go through with this now. Yeah, I have to go through. Your with shoulders it. stiffened a little bit. Stiffened a little bit. Patient in the room. I was like, fuck, okay, how am I gonna do this? I haven't been in the game in a while. Like, yeah, I haven't been the date in forever. And then before you met her up, you you wanked off a little bit so you don't like make any too crazy moves. Whole thing. Actually, that, I think that's true too. Yeah. <laughs> I know that is a thing. See, yeah, I well, you check obvious because you, if you do be in the bed, you last yeah. a little longer because you're like too hyped up. You have this like emotion. You have oh, you're shit. too, too horny. You that know? makes sense. So you release a little bit to relax. I know what you're saying. Because maybe last a little longer too. It's very logical. You know what I mean. All right, continue. So, <laughs> but yeah, even the date, I was like, well, I wasn't actually nervous when I was talking to her. Well, I guess the beers helped a little bit. You know, going into it. I was like feeling confident a little bit. I'm like, okay, she's feeling me a little bit. We're feeling each other. And they're like, hey, um, there's some other bars. You know, we're getting tired of this place. If they're about to close too. So like, I think it was a Thursday too. Like there's other bars around the area. I'm like, okay, let's go. And we went to get big drinks and we got a little more tipsy. We played pool. I'm like horrible at pool. So I've heard she, who, from who? <laughs> from you. Oh yeah. I asked you if you, yeah. Pretty bad, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, she beat me. Oh, right, actually, did she beat me? Oh yeah, we were like, oh, I, t- I told a little joke, like whoever wins gets a prize or whatever, something like that. And um, and she won. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna give you a prize. Mm. But I never gave her a prize or anything. I didn't. I didn't know what to do. I was like, okay, a prize is here's another beer. But later on, I'll tell you about it. I think on. I, I think I, I see where this is going. We were going to um, to a park near my place towards the end of the night. It's Presidio Park. Have you been to Presidio Park? All I know is. We have a lot of stories about parks. And a lot shit. of shit goes down yeah, but, in oh parks. Shit. Oh, yeah. Well, there was a park, yeah. And then oh, it was raining. It was kind of romantic a little bit. And I was like, okay, she's about to call an Uber. And I was like, oh, no. Don't call an Uber. Like, I think she was just like, maybe she didn't want to, she didn't feel the night or anything. I was like, oh, damn, what did I do? Or maybe she, she was waiting for something for me to do. I'm like, okay. So, like, I was like, don't call the Uber. And she's like, okay, I'm, I'm going to cancel the Uber. And she's, I'm like, that's good. <laughs> and I'm like, I slowly just look into her eyes a little bit. She like my eyes too. I'm like, she's just, like kind of smiling a little bit, like waiting for something. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna kiss you then. And I just kissed her. You said that first? No. no. Oh, okay. I was in my mind. Oh, I gotta right. never say it. Like, <laughs> like don't say that shit. <laughs> yeah, don't say. It. <laughs> so I, just, I went into her, kissed her a little bit in the rain. It was kind of romantic a little bit. We were like pushing each other against the wall like, just to get a little bit of like cover from the what rain. What time is this? This was really late. This was probably like 12, one ish. I'm one-ish. getting down. Yeah, we're like making out pretty serious. I was try humping her against the wall. Oh a shit! Bit. It's super dark and it's raining. No one's out. Damn. Um, and you're like imagining someone else. What do you mean? I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I just like to bring up some random shit. See, see how you react. To <laughs> oh, like, like, no, it's just imagining. Yeah. Is that a fucker? But. <laughs> Why? But yeah, we're, I was dry humping her a little bit. I was feeling her up. She was feeling me up a little bit. So I went a little crazy. I went a little primal. Mm. Primal mode and then blow. You went a little ka-ching. We should have like a sound effect that's primal mode. Oh, we should make a sound effect? <laughs> that's like, primal mode. <laughs> like in the uh, actual like audio software mm. to represent the word primal. Mm. That's the thing. We're gonna a monkey about. sound. A mo- <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, um, I went a little primal and uh, I reached down her pants and I was just in her anus. And we're in her anus? I w- no, I was not ready to let her go back in the past. I went to the front. <laughs> okay. I heard anus. <laughs> I didn't say anus. Oh, like, shit. I went to the front of her pants. I was the light it. on your face looks beautiful. Thank you. And I did a little bit of a... Do you look to the side? Like, oh. Fingering. Oh, shit. She was, what was she, she wearing was that day? A little bit. She was wearing, like, rainy, like, boots, rainy boots, and um, some jeans, some tight some jeans. Some jeans, some tight. And, um, a jacket. Because it was a rainy day, and it was, like, raining the whole week. Mm-hmm. So she prepared a little bit. I was prepared. I was wearing boots. I was wearing my docks. I remember what I was wearing. I was wearing docks. Black pants. The flannel. The red flannel. Have you seen that red flannel I wore? I think so, yeah. yeah. I wore that with the jacket. So I was looking kind of, like, yeah, you look good that casual. Time. But, you know, it's nice, you know? But so you really care about this moment because you remember the little details. Oh, yeah. I mean... I'm just saying... I mean, I did like her at some point. I was like, we'll get to that a little later, but, but at th- this point, yeah. I'm like fingering her, and she was like, oh, she was feeling it too. She was feeling it, and I'm like, classy. It was like a minute into it, and she was like, you s- she just like took off her, she kind of pushed my hand away, and she's like, you just want to go to back to my place. <gasps> I'm like, 
Yeah, why not? <laughs> first date. <laughs> On the first date, yeah. Oh, and then I went, shit. We called, she called an Uber. You're a little crazy. Well, not that crazy. <laughs> 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 a little primal. That's little what we primal. call it. We don't call it crazy. That's, that's what we crazy call it. Crazy isn't a word. Yeah. That's, that's not primal. a word. It's not even the vocabulary right now. <laughs> <laughs> we went to back to her place. And by this point, I'm like, we were like giggling. We're like laughing. We're talking it up in the Uber. Getting to know more each other. And then we're like, we got to her place. And I was just like, okay, I got to her place. Going upstairs. Going towards her room. I had to go to the bathroom, so I went. To, I'm like, can I go to the bathroom real okay? quick? I had. I just had to fart. I had to release some gas. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, I just had a little gas, but I didn't want. I didn't want to make it super loud. You used to have a little gas. What do you mean? That's what you said. I had a little gas. Okay. A little gas. I was a little gassy that night. A little gassy. But. Like the smelling kind of gassy. You farted right now. Not a flight. Like no. <laughs> <laughs> it was no. It was not a smelly type of gassy. It was just okay. like fart sound. Just gassy. sound gas. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I didn't want to make it really loud because it was quiet at the house. Mm. So I had to like. Did she live with anyone? They had roommates. Oh, shit. But the bathroom was kind of close, so I tried to make the, the farts really sound, like, low. Yeah. So we just, like, push it out slowly. Yo. From the anus. <laughs> so you would I heard that one correctly. You said anus that time. Anus. 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 Not anus, but oh. anus. Oh, okay. Not anus, actually, but yes. <laughs> I don't know what dictionary you're pulling from. What? I don't know what dictionary you're pulling from. <laughs> <laughs> from Greek mythology. Greek mythology. <laughs> like, some random one. But no, um, so after the bathroom, I went into the room she was playing some music on her laptop and I was just I just went into the bed with her too when she was playing the, the music in the laptop and uh, oh, very nice sunglasses Thank Jeremy you Beats put on some sunglasses for the story so it's getting juicy great so yeah it's getting actually is juicy so um yeah she was playing music Literally. I'm like oh let me put some recommendations and I put some like Mexican music cause she was, cause she was Mexican and Pakistani da, 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 da. she's Pakistani and Mexican it's a little mm. mix yeah mm. But she didn't know that much Mexican music, so I played it a little bit. And she was like, and she said, oh, you're super Mexican. Because <laughs> I put Mexican music, and they're super Mexican. I'm like, okay, that's funny. But yeah, I'm like, yeah. I mean, and she, she, like, paused it. Oh, no, she, I think she kept playing it. And she's like, let me just move it to the side. She moved to the side, and I'm just still sitting there like a doofus. And she, <laughs> she grabs me, and just starts kiss, kissing me. I'm like, okay, okay there, here we go. <laughs> she brought me towards the bed. I'm just okay there. Slowly undressing her. She slowly undresses me. And, you know. Magic. Magic happened, yeah. The boots were really hard to take off. I was wearing docks. God damn it. it was Wait, was she trying to take off your boots or you trying to take off her boots? I was with, no, I was trying to take off my boots. Oh, oh, she was trying to actually take off my pants at one point. And, I was, mm. and she was like really struggling and she was like laughing. And I was like, okay, I'll do it. I'll put her hands to the side, her little hands. And stuff. <laughs> I'll take it off. I'll take it off the belt and I'll take it off. Oh, shit, you got to show me a picture of this one. This girl? Mm-hmm. Show it later, yeah. Well, not right now, but I'll show, I'll show it to you. I'll show time. In good, in, good, in, good, right. in good time. But uh, yeah, and then towards the end of the night, it kind of lasted that long. Yeah, it kind of lasted. It lasted long? That night. She, yeah. she liked it too? Yeah, she liked that. She oh, surprisingly, I lasted long. Yeah, you know. Surprising? It was the, ca- the condom too, I guess, maybe. That's why. Yeah, that's what it is. So, yeah, we did it from the many positions. We <laughs> 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 Casually just. Just casually. Just many positions. I think the first position going through was. the motions. Well, the first position, what was it? Oh, it was missionary, of course. I just slipped on it and then like a we just like a jackrabbit just going <laughs> and then the jackrabbit makes it seem like you didn't last long no it'll last long okay well, I don't know an animal rhino maybe <laughs> <laughs> I like rhinos too so uh. oh damn, oh, damn. <laughs> a rhino very unattractive but yes yeah and then from there that position when she I, I told her because I kind of like it from the top so she I moved it from the top of me like cowboy style mm-hmm. and then we oh yeah she said I think she wanted to say it too. She was like, "Oh, my bed is a little squeaky," in the beginning, and I'm like, "Okay." And it was actually really squeaky when we were doing it. Yeah. It was just you could hear it like, <laughs> like oh shit. And it was, it was funny because the window, the shades were open. Oh shit. But it, was, it led to the backyard that window. Hell so I don't shit. know who saw that in the backyard. Oh, you think someone saw it? I don't think anybody saw it. It was it, the window that just led to the backyard. Oh. You know what I mean? You can only see the. But well, like you can s- like if someone dark. were outside, they would be able maybe. to see. Maybe the other house in the. Uh. <laughs> the block Shit. maybe but but yeah it was open but i didn't care at that point i was like you know what yeah i'm already in like a turtle and I'm like a turtle i don't know oh like like in your shell like yeah you know i'm I just get, like I in there it. and now I'm, I'm out and then you just know oh shit. i just went with it you know and then yeah you just went with it with that language because it didn't, it didn't work. Uh, yeah i didn't know <laughs> it didn't really say. work yeah. <laughs> <laughs> basically <I'm laughs> and then yeah by the end of the night we we're just cuddling we're talking a little bit she doesn't have a bra on, you know, she just has panties on, you know, the usual. I'm like, I'm a boob girl, you know that. 
Yeah, I know you're yeah. a poop girl. So I always just kept sucking on them, like, no, no tomorrow. Oh, shit. And then, yeah, I was, I was gonna, I was thinking of staying that night over, and she was like, you gotta go. <laughs> she was like, she she was go. like, no, but she was like, jokingly, like, you gotta go, you can't stay here, your parents are gonna be mad. Uh-huh. Maybe she knew I had parents, like, I was leaving with my parents, she's like, you, you're gonna be pissed if you stay over, and like, yeah. that's true, that's true. But yeah. I didn't want to leave, actually. <laughs> she's like, okay, I'll leave that. I just left, take an Uber, and we kissed a little bit by then, and, yeah. and then, yeah, it was like, okay, I'll text you in the morning, she's like, yeah, I'll text you. Who'd you say her name was, Vanessa? Melissa. Melissa, Melissa. Melissa. Yeah. Mm, Melissa. And then from there, um, we had another date like that, too. Same we went thing. On a date. Same we watched thing. The Ring. You ever seen Rings? Uh, Lord of the Rings? No, Rings, like the scary movie. Oh, like so the, the first ring? But then the thing rings. That thing that comes out of the so floor TV, or some shit? The TV. Like if, you, if you watch the videotape, you die in like seven days or whatever. Uh, kind of like that. Probably seen it. I don't. Like I think commercials. I've probably seen it. Definitely seen it. it was like the Did third. you guys watch a little scary movie together? You watch it? You can uh, watch it. No, I'm saying you watch the scary movie with her. Oh, I'm going to go to... I thought you mean you watch it. I'm going to go down, down. <laughs> you want to relive this, a sexy, intimate movie oh, sure, with no. me? <laughs> oh, and actually, that movie theater, yeah, I was... um. Actually, that was the first time I ever Did kissed a girl. At a theater. In the theater. i never done that. And I was like, you know what? That's I'm going to do it. Because I never actually done it. I'm like, yeah, actually, it felt nice. Yeah, and then... Yeah, she was grabbing me on my, my thing. Or actually, because I actually grabbed her hand to put it on my thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're getting a little grabby in the theater, yeah. but nothing else happened. You were grabby, yeah. kissing, whatever. Yeah. And we went, went out of the theater. She was like, "I could drop you off at your place." She's like, "Yeah." And then when we got to her place, she was like, "Oh, do you want to come in?" Mm-hmm. I'm like, "Of course. <laughs> 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 Why not? Get some tea." You know? Yeah. But yeah, we went straight to the bedroom and rip off clothes again like an animal, and we just went primal again. Damn. That was the second date, yeah, and, um... How, how far apart was that from the first date? Mm, it was kind of far apart, because, um... Because she was sick for a while. It was winter, too. Uh-huh. So, we, it was, everybody was getting sick. Yeah. And, um... All the people were getting cold. I, w- I had a sore throat at that time. It was, like... I was just sick. I didn't want to go anywhere. And, and she was... And then she got sick right when I was recovering. Yeah. So, she got sick, like, fuck! Yeah. And then... So, it, was, it took a while to the second date, but we were still talking throughout the yeah. whole thing, like... Kind of like we were going out, kind of yeah. in a way. When yeah. was this? This was last. It was last winter, then, basically. Last. So it was winter. actually like a year ago. No, this is actually this January. Like, swear ended. Hold up. So it's November right now. So what? It, was, it was this year. Hmm. In the beginning of the year, basically. Yeah. That's when it ended. But um, like a little months ago or something like that. How many months ago? Eleven. That's a long time ago. It was literally like a year, kind of like a year, yeah. two years ago. Yeah. But yeah, and then we um, we talked a little bit more, but so what it, happened it, with it Melissa? It started dying down. That's what it happened. Like, like the, uh, the I tried to keep it going, but or? no, I like I tried to keep it going, but I felt yeah. like she didn't want to keep it going. I think she just wanted to, like you were. So this all comes back all the way to the cuffing. Uh-huh. Basically, you want someone for the winter. Oh, was, so you think that's what she was doing? Yeah, but I also think. She just broke up with her boyfriend. She just wanted someone around. Because uh, I knew she had a boyfriend when we were in the class together. That's why I didn't really talk to her. Yeah. And the next, yeah, the next semester, I'm like, oh, maybe she broke Yeah, they broke up because she wasn't talking to him. So you just, like, had her Snapchat and you just, like, Snapchat, said some shit. Instagram, or, you know. And, Damn. You well, know. You, know how to, you know how to deal with the game in this and then, uh, new modern age. Well, she, yeah, she just, like, she didn't want to talk to him. I'm, I'm guessing she just wanted to hook up and stuff. So I'm like, okay. Because she also... She don't follow me on Instagram too. What? I know. So I'm like, and, the, and she Recently? blocked me too. I think it's, it's still blocked. I think. Do you think it's? Did you do anything? But I didn't do anything. Deserve? No, like I didn't do anything bad. Like I was just weird. Like she was out of nowhere. Like she, she out of nowhere just did it. Like I think she just is trying to erase you from her life. Cause you're garbage now. Oh damn! <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's because I think maybe she thinks I'm like a, as we could say, a fuck boy. But yeah, you know, she's the one who's like. I'm still trying to keep it going. Like I'm, at, I'm yeah. try, I was trying to go into a relationship. I was thinking of going into a relationship, but yeah. like, I guess yeah. she didn't want to do anything. So yeah, you maybe uh, you, you know I mean? were open to the idea of progressing. You know, yeah, with yeah. her. I guess she didn't want to. I think she just wanted yeah. a, a hookup, basically. So I'm like, oh. I'm like, whatever. I didn't. Really oh, mind. I didn't. Good thing I didn't get like too attached yeah. to a point where I was like really like her. And yeah, that happened. But yeah. now it's just like. But whatever. to make it clear, you're not talking shit. You're just. You're like, just saying what happened. Yeah, this whatever what happened happened. happened. Whatever yeah. happened, happened, and yeah, like, yeah. like she broke up with the boyfriend. It might have been a big deal. Yeah, and then Who she knows? Just, yeah, I know. She just she goes to the state. I think she still goes to the state. 
Do you see any of these girls sometimes? <coughs> like, you just have I seen her? Have you seen her since then? No, I haven't seen her. I, haven't, I don't know if she was because she's a uh, I think she's what was she a kinesiology also. So she wasn't like yeah, she's not really in the art department. Like I only see people from the art department now. I don't really don't see like anyone else. I don't go up in campus anymore. You know what I mean? Like I stay around the, the you know the mm-hmm. down part of campus. Yo, there was this girl. So I used to really like this girl sure. in high school. <laughs> I later found out that she was bisexual because she was like I thought she straight up turned lesbian, but no, she's back to boys. But anyway, <laughs> back to boys. In junior year. Um, there's like, you know, one of them teen clubs. Teen clubs? What do you mean those teen clubs? There used to be this thing where... Like those pop, like they like, they like research pop Like 17 artists. and under, mm-hmm. like high schooler type clubs. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, good, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah, there's always those clubs. There. So she invited me to one of those before. Um, I know it sounds like people are fucking up there. Fucking aliens yeah, doing their shit. They're fucking energetic on this right Maybe now. Maybe my neighbors are really aliens, and they're taking the persona. Do you hear that shit? I don't think you hear it, but it's not super loud. Though, but they it's might like hear metal it. clunking, though. Yeah. So maybe aliens have like a different kind of body. Metal body. Yeah. Like metallic. Anyways. <laughs> it's really good. I forget the point I was trying to make, though. So yeah, you met the girl. Oh, yeah. The girl was a uh, she was bisexual. She yeah. invited you to a club. Yeah, she invited me to a club. club. And then so, <coughs> and with like two other girls, right? It was a small club. It was, like it was actually next to my dad's club. Wait, oh wait, it was a the real one club? to the left. The one to the left. You know the <laughs> club. Oh sorry, a censor. In the club. <laughs> <laughs> the club that you went to. Yeah. And then to the left, there's another club. Like, the. Directly the building right next to it on the left. Well, I didn't check it out. I don't know if I. Anyways, they they house like different parties and they have teen parties sometimes. Mm-hmm. And I was a teen that time. So they invited you to go. Yeah, and it was awkward as fuck because um, mm-hmm. cause if you remember correctly, it, that was like Twerk Nation, like that year. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, back. They're it was really starting to get the rhythm of Twerk. Right. I like Twerk it as as we yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And like. I remember they're like wanted to dance and shit and like they're like all like taking turns like twerking on me mm-hmm. and I, I felt so like because I was like you, you gotta you gotta know that I was like a really innocent kid mm-hmm. and I did not know what I was getting into so when they start twerking on you they look growing oh. I mean probably but I was more I just say it's little. awkward than anything <laughs> I was just standing there. <laughs> just, <laughs> I'm just like standing there as they're like backing it up on me. And they're back. Oh, oh, I can tell you about the first work too. But mm-hmm. thank you. And they're like taking turns on me and shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, so one, one does a twerk, one goes away, and then the, another girl goes. So it was like I was like a little boy toy for a second. Damn, they're treating you like a boy. You got treating like the little. See, I wasn't ready for that shit. Got to treat like, like they're, they're pieces too. If they think you're a boy toy, be like, okay. See, you want to do the boy toy. See. I understand that mindset, yeah, but crazy mindset. but back then, back then, that's when you start getting primal. That's yeah. when that's when you develop your. Were you getting horny when they were like twerking? I don't remember. Probably because I thought I thought like the, the girl that I I like I thought she was hot. Mm-hmm. Um, anyways, um, later. Wait, did she <coughs> was she twerking on you that night? I don't that I don't remember, but. But you I, saw the bunch of other girls from that club. Yeah, who yeah, were twerking on you. yeah. And so, and you're and like they were all amazed. friends. Yeah, you're, you're, you're like uh, fascinated by this Turk world. They're like, oh shit, you couldn't take it in. A little bit. And so I remember in the in the beginning of that night, there was this one girl. She was she started talking to me, and she was like really pretty actually. And then this was I didn't know this girl. She was just there. She started talking to me. She's like, oh, are you gonna dance? And she asked. She asked if she wanted to dance with me. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I don't know. I, I was like, I don't know. I'm shy. My I'm like 16 or 17, mm-hmm. maybe 16. And she said, oh, no, that's, she's like, is that your first time? And I was like, yeah, it's my first time. She's like, oh, me too. And she was like really cute and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then at little. the <laughs> end of the night, she asked me to dance again, and I rejected her again. Wait, why did you reject her? I don't know. That like kind of fucks with me to this day because she was like, she was really like polite. And like, she wanted to dance again. She wanted to, yeah. Was she tricking on you? D- no, no, no. no. no she's she, she's well, when I saw her, we were just by like the juice bar. Cause that's what and you guys are dancing. Were you guys really close, like dancing? We're somewhat close, close but uh, we're just talking. Like, there's just like 
just like you and me kind of thing. Okay. Just like maybe this close, yeah. Okay. And so that's something I regret. And then another thing is that girl that I liked, um, the party was over, and then I thought like she left and she came back, and then she like she like ran quickly towards me. She uh-huh. tiptoed and kissed me on the cheek. Tiptoed and kissed kiss you on the cheek. Yeah. She, yeah. And where'd she go? That's this, some cute she shit, right? And then she just you left. Oh my god! You should have grabbed. You should have grabbed. If she did, if the girl did that, I would have grabbed her arm. Like, give me a real kiss, girl. <laughs> See, I ain't no game like our mom. Our, I ain't no game like you. No, it's just an instinct that you went to. Yeah. Look, primal. Yeah. It's primal move. She I went mean, primal. She went primal. She went. See, that's why. Or maybe she was trying to aim at your lips and she kind of missed. She's like, fuck. I missed. Maybe, maybe. She's like, fuck. That's what I thought, though. Uh, but she never. Sh- What'd she say? Wait, what happened after? Like, the next day? Or what's. You know. Never know. I what? guess I used to be mad at her because I thought she just did it for fun and like her friends told me uh or i think one of her friends knew like the other girl that was twerking on me mm-hmm. knew that like i liked her or something or they had a feeling and he was just like oh yeah she just like does that to her friends or something mm-hmm. and i was never completely sure if that was true or maybe it was because she had initiative and i didn't show initiative back mm-hmm. and so to this day like I feel like uh, high school Jeremy was a wreck. He was, he was a little shy boy that didn't had it's no like, game, you know. No, I feel it like, like it's not the same for me. Like you, like you had like the potential, but like, but you didn't mm-hmm. do it. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of like me too. Like I, there's a couple girls who also like liked me, but I didn't do anything because mm-hmm. I was just either playing games, like 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 real games, like freaking COD. <laughs> <laughs> I was a nerd and then, or other times I was just like oblivious like I didn't want to like I didn't want to talk to anybody at that time yeah. so but they wanted to talk to me and I was, now that I think about it I'm like why didn't I put the controller down yeah. or just or just go out you just even go, just go out and enjoy yeah. your time being there or like at least try to enjoy your time being there like I didn't even want to enjoy my time being yeah. there like you know yeah so I yeah. think that's what we were in that situation you know yeah it's fucking crazy man that's high school. I mean, that's that's high school. High, high school, school is high beyond me. Is high school is another life. High school has another life, basically. So it's so weird. If you could go, that'd be fun to go back though. If you could time travel. If I went back, and you had the mindset you have now. Now, see, like, is that some pedophile shit? Because mentally, no, no like you don't have to hook up with a girl. Like, like, okay, okay. I'm just saying the thing that you gotta change. Like, you yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You motherfucker, you gotta do something. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you gotta do in the future. Yeah, there's some <laughs> there's some like bullies that I wish. Oh, yeah, I could stand up against a little bit. Even, like, it wasn't a is, big deal, but like just to say that I backed up myself. Did it and stood up. Yeah. Like, there's many moments. Like I remember. Like, fuck you, Arthur. Yeah, oh, I said shit. it. Alright, your turn. I don't even know the guy's name, but. It <laughs> 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 <Damn, okay. laughs> was a middle school. No, I, I mean, we're doing first names, so I'm going. Ham. Ham. Go primal on this bitch. That's right? what I'm saying. Hey, back in the day, bitch. apes would fucking tear the shit out of each other that's how they would deal with conflict that's how they would deal with it. they don't call a manager call them i want to talk to your manager like, yeah that's some fucking beta male shit it just takes me back to freaking exporting goods. <laughs> yeah. let me talk to your manager like so but anyways what were you saying what were you saying oh, oh yeah the, the guy in the middle school oh yeah the first time i ever got in the fight was in middle school did I tell you about this? I don't hear about this. But no, I, th- I think I told you with you and then Daniela. We're getting deep in the primal right now. Like, when's the most, I guess, fights the are fir- pretty primal. Well, the first time it was uh, in middle school. Yeah, it was this kid named, I think it was Christopher. He was an Asian dude. Christopher, little bitch. He was, oh, shit, he's not a bitch. Oh, he's not a bitch. Oh, sorry. He's probably sick now. I don't know. <laughs> 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 but he's still a bitch. I know played that. But, no, it was Christopher. He's Asian. He was a mix. He was Latino because his last name was uh, Castillo. Mm. It was uh, kind of weird. And no, I didn't notice that. But, <laughs> yeah, his name's Christopher. And he was just in my PE class. He would annoy the shit out of me. He would just, like, bug me for no I don't even remember why he bugged me. It was just for no reason. He was a little taller than me. He just he wanted, to, he was, he wanted to be alpha. And I was, he just, like, bugged me all the time. And one day, he just... I was like, nah, I can't take it. it was one you day know why? It's because I think you're, like... Not to suck your dick, but you're, like, fairly good-looking, I think. I think when you're a kid... You're like the cute kid, right? Do you, would you say that? I had good hair. And hair but yeah, I feel like I was hair. a cute kid in high school. 
I feel like a lot of dudes. The ambience of our, of our looks here. A lot of dudes, and I'm just saying, from a purely physical standpoint, we're not ugly dudes, and in high school we were cuties. Pretty, we're pretty cute. We're pretty cute. <laughs> I'm just saying. A couple of cuties, you know? And none of y'all can see us, so you can't disagree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll see you later, though. We'll be wrong. We'll, we're hey, not we'll, wrong. Be, we'll be in movies and shit, so we'll watch out for us. Oh, shit. You don't know our names yet, but watch you'll out for know, us. You'll know. That you'll know. Be, you'll know. You'll know our names. You will know. And come back to the shit. You will know. Sorry, you're, <laughs> not, you're not a bitch. I'm sorry. Please. Sorry. We're looking for loyal fans. We're <laughs> looking for loyal fans. <laughs> Stay here, please. Don't go away. But no. But yeah, he was just annoying me. One day we were just playing. I was playing basketball with a group of friends that I had in one court. And he plays with another group of friends that he has in one court. So his ball goes into to our court, like me and my group of friends. And he goes, it's like next to me. And I'm like, you know, I'm not going to pick it. I'm not going to pick it up and give it back to them. Or because he was asking for it, like, yo, the bomb. I'm like, I just walked away. I was like, you can get it. I'm like, I'm, I'm not doing anything. You can get it. I'm not gonna pick it up. <laughs> so he he went to pick it up, and I'm just still walking, and out of nowhere, boom! My I felt something in my head, a freaking thump in my head. I'm like, what the fuck is that? You weren't sure what it was. At first, I'm like, and I saw the ball bounce. I'm like, okay, he threw he just threw a ball at my head, you know, yeah. back of my head. I'm like, and I turn around like, oh, are you serious? And everybody's like, ooh, like you know the freaking middle school. Mm-hmm. Turn around. That's another thing I hate about little kids. Oh, shit. They, they instigate. instigate. They, they fucking Make level it. the shit up from shit zero to a hundred. So you just went up. It was just like, okay, I gotta deal with him now. You know? I stood up. You know, I went to him. I went up to him. He's like, what are you gonna do? He's, like he didn't say it, but he's like, you know, like little. He stood up too. Like he's like looking his head up. Like what are you gonna do? Chest out. Chin yeah. Up. I went up to him too. I'm like, yeah. I went up to him, up to his face. And he was like, yeah, what are you going to do? I think he did say that. <laughs> and then I just, like, socked him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the... I think it was a right. I don't even know what the hell... It, yeah. And I don't even know how to punch. I punched with my, like, <laughs> like primal punch. This like, was before... <laughs> <laughs> primal punch. <laughs> so it was like a... You know, like a... So like it's just the feeling from within that just... It was culminated like a, into a physical blast to the face. It, I didn't want to hit him, but I hit him, so I was kind of slapped with the fist. So it was like this. I hit him with the, what would you call this thing? Um, so not the knuckles you use to punch, below but the ones knuckles. below that. Yeah, it's like yeah, your mid knuckles. How you see like gorillas walk on yeah, their your mid. They don't walk on the knuckles. They walk on the yeah. mid knuckles. Yeah. So I slapped him where I <laughs> hit him with that. <laughs> you know? And then he like he just went around, like his face went around, and he was just smiling. <laughs> and he turned around a little bit. And I saw his back. I'm like, oh, I know what he's gonna do. The whole cliche moving like Tackle. movies. No, he just turns around. He's like, okay, okay. He turns around real quick and he tries to hit me. And I really uh, knew that was coming, uh, so I ducked right underneath that. Yeah. And then I ducked it and I hit him with like another right. Yeah, you it, countered him and I shit. I countered it and I kept hitting it with that same right, and it was just like this. It was just, it was just like this. He kept smacking him like that, and he fell to the ground. He was like bleeding a little bit. Oh shit. And um, oh, hold up, but you started that shit, didn't you? Kinda, but he he threw a ball at head. Oh yeah, he threw a ball. <laughs> I, <started. laughs> I just start shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the bull. But if you were to do it again, would you do that same thing? I'm glad it happened. No, glad I mean, it felt good, right? Yeah, it felt good. I and mean, glad, and then we were cool after that. We were okay. chill, you know. We oh, like, that's the settled. important thing. Yeah, we saw everything. If you were cool after that, you mean you resolved the issue physically, but nonetheless you resolved it. And I think some people. Especially kids resolve it in that way. You know. We were pretty mature about it's it. It's not Except the only way to resolve issues. That's not what I'm yeah, saying. <laughs> but sometimes yeah, it is to, what happens. To deal with the, yeah. the beef. But later on, one of his friends was like, Oh, you got your ass beat by Armando. He was like laughing. And then I'm like, oh, I have to bring it up. Yeah. And then the Chris, Chris was like, We can go at it again. Oh shit! And I'm like, no, we're good. He's just like, like laughing too. Like, okay, yeah. I'm like, I don't want to fight him again. Like, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. But his friend was just like, and I hate when like, people do that shit. that shit. Like, oh, I can't remember that time when I'm on a beat your ass. Like, yeah. like why did they bring it up? That was like a year ago or so. Like, we're chill now. We're just yeah. on our ways, you know. I went to, I didn't get suspended. I went to uh, the security guards that they have in the middle school. They took me to the counseling office. And he told me I can't do it again and something like that. Just give me the cool, cause I know the counselor. She was very nice and she knew me. That I was a nice kid. I was never like an aggressive kid. So she was like, okay, I'm gonna send you off. But then I was like so like guilty about it. When I went home, I, I went crying to my mom. I'm like, mm. I got in the fire. Like I couldn't hold it. And I, I went inside and she's like, what happened? And I didn't say anything and then I just broke out. I'm like, I got in the fire. Oh, and I showed her my hand. I didn't actually show her my hand. She didn't. Never, she never saw the bloody hands actually. It was bloody. 
They were bloody. I think cause, just because of the hits and the knuckle yeah. too, and because oh, you hit blood. him multiple times. Yeah, mm-hmm. but she never actually saw the blood. I don't think she ever saw it. But she knew that I got into a fight, and, and I told her, and she she brought me into the counseling office with her name was Miss Miss Castillo, the the counselor. She was oh, my shit. so it's like the boy's mom. <laughs> no, it wasn't the boy's mom, oh. but that actually is coincidence. Yeah, mm-hmm. Miss Castillo. But yeah, she she was like, yeah. It's probably nothing, something like that. It just nothing really happened. Nothing bad happened. But yeah, then in middle school, like after like a few, like a month after that, it's when a dude we we're playing. I was playing soccer in the courtyard, and I accidentally like trying. I was trying to get the ball, so I actually I kind of roundhouse his stomach, but I didn't notice at that time. Wait, what? You, you roundhouse ra- kicked someone? Yeah, in the stomach. Cause I was trying to reach the soccer ball. We we're playing soccer uh-huh. in the courtyard, and I kind of went up to like mid-level like the chest level so I was trying to uh, grab it but I accidentally missed and I actually kind of hit him but I didn't know you're trying to kick it I was trying to kick it but I accidentally kicked his stomach a little uh-huh. bit apparently I didn't know it hurt because I, I guess I was used to just kicking hella hard shit because it was just like I was a soccer player <laughs> back then <laughs> so like I didn't feel it but then he felt it he was like, he was like this and he came up to me like what the fuck? And then <laughs> he's about to he swung the shit out of and slapped the shit like like literally slapped the shit out of me it was like a slap punch or whatever and I was like super mad, but then I control myself. I'm like, damn, I can't fight because then I just got to fight a month ago. <laughs> That's what the thing I regret. I just saw I your face. <laughs> yeah. Your face look, looked like the face you would make. Yeah. Yeah, you just the hell of like. But I was like, yeah, I just slapped the shit at me. I just looked at him like, what the hell? Why do you do that? I was like, if you kicked me or something like that, you just walked away. I'm like, oh, he walked and away. And I actually it was a little tattletale, so I'm like, I'm going to tell the counselor. The counselor and I went to tell the counselor. But they didn't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> But that's one thing I regret. I should have just gone to the fight. I'm like, fuck. But I didn't want to get into the fight because I got into a fight a month ago. And I was yeah. like, shit, my mom's getting mad. I was like, my mom's getting mad. It's probably better that you didn't, though, I think. But I, I don't know. I should have. Yeah. If I would have gone back, I would have like, I would have avoided wow. the punch and just started fighting him. But I have a really, like, long story, but I'm going to make it short. What's the long story? The long story is, oh, well, the short story is, I got robbed. You got robbed? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So... This was like in front of Stonestown. I think this was the last year. Oh shit! Yeah, you got robbed. Man. I got robbed. So I like this guy. What time was it? It was early as fuck. Like it was like 3 p.m. latest. Mm. Mm. And 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Yeah. That's like <laughs> that's some daylight shit. Oh yeah. It was yeah. bright. Yeah, that was still like. And yeah. we're in front of Stonestown. Yeah. So I was on my phone at the bus stop. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> you want us to move? Oh, oh, the other side. Oh, oh, the other side. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I'll tell us. I can move it, yeah, I can move it. I'll get a side. I can just move it out in the street, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is that your mom? Oh, uh, no, that's my aunt. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> we got we got pa- did we pause it? I paused that shit. Let's pause it, yeah. I gotta move my car, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, my bye. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so Back at the table. All right. Five twenty-five p.m. Dark as fuck for no it's reason. Dark now because daylight savings. So. Yeah. So. Dark for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch is dark for Some no Batman reason. Some Batman shit. Some Batman shit. It looks nice though. Yeah. Yeah. Nice view. And yeah. so when I got robbed, I felt <laughs> like I felt like I should be like Batman. So. Okay, I don't know if you know this, but. I do the martial art. He does the martial arts. He do yeah. that martial arts. I do that martial arts. He does so, that. Yeah. <laughs> so I have the ability. Okay, I'm not. I'm not saying I'm great at it, but I have the ability to calm down. I have the ability to uh, stay calm under um, situations like this. So mm-hmm. I was feeling like I felt the fear because I didn't. I, I wasn't ready for it. I was, I shouldn't have been on my phone. So I was on my phone like this, and this guy walks up, mm-hmm. just walks across the street, and says, "Empty your pockets." He just, and then Who's I. This guy was he? Who was he? Black? He indeed was black. He's a, we're not trying to assume anything. <laughs> he was but he was, he was a younger gentleman. Okay. He was like about my age or something. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I just pretend. Long story short, I was gonna defend myself, uh-huh. but he didn't do anything. He just asked politely. So I felt like if I was going to swing at him, I would be the one that would get in trouble. Mm-hmm. At least to me, if there were cameras, um, 
it would just be this guy walking up to me saying whatever he said and I sock him in the face and I just wasn't ready to get into complications where was this at like in Stone's Town you yeah. said but where in Stone's Town um, so it was like there, was there a lot of people around there was no people around that's the thing mm-hmm. so I guess he picked the right time and I was doing a good job of trying to stall time like kind of like pretending not to understand mm-hmm. um like I don't speak English. Yeah, kind of, kind of like not like that, but I was like, and you just laugh it off. Like I don't speak English. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did have that thought. Um, yeah. But my other thing was I was I was scanning up and down his body to see if he had a weapon, yeah. and it didn't seem like he had weapons. But I was still cons. I was the only thing I was concerned for. Um, I yeah. I knew co- I was confident in my ability to to defend myself and beat yeah. his ass, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he ain't have no. I want to see like if he was holding a knife, then fuck no, I don't like. So I gave him my money. I didn't have that much. I had like what, I had like thirty dollars or something, mm-hmm. and it still sucks. That, and he asked for my phone at some point, and I was like, I was like, all right, that's too much. I I was like, I literally said I'm not having this, and I I just I I walked. So I was, I was basically trapped in a bus stop. Mm-hmm. And so he was trapping me in that bus stop. In that bus stop. Oh. And I just kind of like I just kind of like made space and squeezed through mm-hmm. and directed my eyesight. I kept eye contact with him as I said I'm not having this. I kept walking and as he saw me walk away, he ran. And the, and coincidentally he ran away the, from you. Yeah, oh. coincidentally the M train was passing and he got on the M train and then the immediate thought that I had was that pussy that pussy why that pussy cause <laughs> he could have deal with he thought like either I was gonna call the cops and you know he couldn't follow up with Wait. what he was trying to do which was take my phone so I was well, you I took was, your 30 bucks still right he took my 30 bucks so yeah but but anyway i was i thought maybe he would chase after me and that was when i was i thought it would be okay to defend myself some dude is chasing after me he started it i can fight back Mm -hmm. but under those circumstances i felt uncomfortable um beating his ass Mm -hmm. yeah damn so like if i were to happen right now like i'll panic a little bit like some big dude just coming over yeah i panic for a bit and i'll go prime i'll be like nah I'm, yeah. I'll be ready to fight. This guy was like shorter like, no. than me too, like like. Could beat his ass, Pierre. You could have. Yeah, it was. You but could, it you w- could have robbed him. Give me your money. What you mean? Step up to. You look at this guy. You give me your money, boy. Boy. Yeah. Go I didn't think about that. I should. I should have just been like, "How about you empty your pockets, motherfucker?" Yeah. You take over. Yeah. How about you? But but, but but again <laughs> but again I didn't know if he had a weapon and that was the you have to be smart about these encounters yeah and safety is number one um, your pride is number two or less than that you know I guess time, yeah. safety number one your skill level to protect yourself is number two and pride is number three yeah What's the time you gotta you gotta oh, take it yeah. easy like like mm. sometimes not it's not worth it um, but. Sometimes it is. Like you're so. trying to see a lot of shit. Like you're just, yeah. But I ain't. No. Tr- I ain't trying to like get like in front of the judge and be like, you know, unnecessarily body like, armor. So like. Yeah. Like if you t- they take your wallet, if I know I have nothing in my wallet except for cards, you can yeah. just cancel the card or anything. You know, I'm like okay, I'm <coughs> your wallet. Okay, here you yeah. go, dude. Like, I have the whole story. Yeah, like, but. I have I have another podcast with my friend, mm-hmm. and I tell like the whole story in detail. Mm-hmm. And one of the things that that I thought was funny was that he asked me for m- my debit card. And then, <laughs> and then he was like, That's "Do you have?" Too. Yeah, he was like, "Do you have any money to in it?" And then I said, "I was like, what the fuck question is that?" I'm gonna say no. So I said no, yeah. and he just put it back in. My, he's just like, he just didn't take it. I was like, "Even if I did, bitch, I'm gonna cancel." Dumbass. Like, like, like when you got my cancel, I'm gonna call. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is the point of asking me that question? Yeah, that's like the stupidest shit ever. Oh my god. So yeah, I have a funny story about someone was trying to like mug me too, and this is in high school. We'll say that for another day. Yeah, save it for another day. Save it for another day. Why don't we talk a little bit about, like, you know, why we're in school and, like, life and what makes us, what drives us uh, forward in life and shit like that. Mm-hmm. You know? Well, how I got into Well, I started drawing since I was a little kid, you know? Mm-hmm. I like drawing little, like, monsters, you know? I yeah. have a story, like, that we tell, like, 
but I like I don't know why I draw like drawing monsters as a little kid. And I was very quiet as a kid. I was like mute until like I don't know. You were mute. I was mute until, what do you mean you were mute? I didn't talk. I didn't say. I would just go. Like always, like I would point to my face or like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> point to my face, my. I guess. My That's what your parents gestures. said. I'll do like yes. So, so yeah, I was like. You were mute, grade. or you? I didn't, third grade. It was really late. Yeah. Holy so, shit! Yeah, was, like, so third special, grade is eight years old. Okay, maybe a little like second grade. Probably. It was probably second. Probably seven, second. So seven years mm-hmm. old. I was pretty young, cause I I started playing at eight. So I started talking around eight. Started playing at eight years old? Soccer. soccer oh, soccer. soccer, soccer okay. yeah. Started playing soccer around eight years old. But so it would be before, like, probably, like, a six, seven, maybe. Yeah. I was mute. Yeah, I was in special classes. I was, like, they would take me to, like, this uh, outside of class, and I would be, I would talk to this woman, and I would just play. I would play with her. I would just interact with her, yeah. basically. I would just be, she has so many toys. Oh, my gosh, she has yeah. so many toys. It was, like, heaven for, like, a kid. <laughs> so I would just play all the time. She would just, like, document everything Your I did. Your shoulders hella stiff, bro. Your shoulders are I'm like they just went down like five inches. <laughs> so yeah, she would just document everything. I always just play in the toys, but you were playing the toilet. Toys, no, oh. toys, the toys. <laughs> I was playing with these toys that she had, but and nothing right really things. happened. I was just, I was just mute. I was just like drawing like little monsters at this, this time. And, uh, nothing was wrong with me, but my parents thought something was wrong with me. Yeah. <laughs> I was drawing these little monsters and didn't talk. I was just a normal kid, and like, they figured. Oh, that, I think the woman who was documenting it, she was yeah. like, he's just a normal kid, he just doesn't want to talk. So you would consider yourself, and I'm skipping years ahead, but you would consider yourself like an artist, right? Right now? Yeah, right now. Or what would you consider yourself? Um, what's that word called? Uh, maybe with, like a bunch of stuff at this one time. Uh huh. Huh? No. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Well, like that too, one. but no. <laughs> no. Um, like Bunch of stuff at one time. That's oh, why. Oh dear. <laughs> like a interdisciplinary artist or something like that. Like a, yeah, I do a bunch of stuff, but I was, yeah, I would say like an artist though. But yeah. I am an artist. Just a broad spectrum of art, I guess. Yeah. Um, but my, I guess like broad, like just. I was always that art, arty guy in the yeah. class. Everybody well, knew me why? as that, as an art guy. Well, what do you think, like? You know, since with your school. current knowledge, mm-hmm. like, why do you think you pursue art? Like, why art as opposed to I guess just because I have things. it, you know what I mean? I have that in my back pocket. Mm-hmm. I'm like, can you draw? <laughs> Take it out of my back pocket? Yeah, I yeah. can. Here you go. Yeah. You, just love drawing. you feel like the same it? way with painting? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I st- like, I started late with painting. Just like, yeah. I painted, the first time I painted was here in college, actually. I never yeah. really painted in yeah. high school or anything. But then... I was just naturally, I don't want to be cocky, I'm like naturally just got, I was kind of natural, I was just painting, because yeah. I already knew like how to mix out the tones, the mm-hmm. mid tones and all that, I already knew that before painting, I already knew that, so I already was kind of good with painting. So is it the, is it, do you think it's because you have the potential for great, do you think it's that idea that drives you towards like you wanting to pursue it, or do you think it's anything more than that? Was I destined to be an artist? Maybe I, I don't know. Like it just it naturally just built itself up, you know. Yeah. And, and then years later, I'm like, okay, I'm still this artist. I can still draw. It still hasn't gone away. I haven't like skipped over. It. I haven't like tossed it away. It's still there. You know what I mean? Yeah. But do you critically like, think about it though? Like, do I what think it means? About it all the time? No, no. Like what it means to you? Like what it means? Like why is art so important? Or yeah, like I always think about it, like. My, like what am I gonna, like what am I gonna do with it too? Like yeah. I'm an artist, but what am I gonna do? Like what's yeah. that, that question that everybody has? Like, yeah. Like I could, I could do this, I could go into that field or that field, but it's just like right now I'm still like thinking about it. So like yeah. where, sh- where should I go? I mean, mm-hmm. I don't have th- that much time, but I do have a little bit of time, but not not that much, you know. I'm mm-hmm. Not getting any younger, you know. <laughs> yeah, I think you're, when you're in your twenties, those are your golden years. Yeah. Um, it's but confusing. Yeah, it is, but time, I think. You know? I think uh, the thing that hinders us as artists, and correct me if I'm wrong, is all these little things that make up the world and the structure of the world uh, discourages us from oh definitely our from doing stuff yeah from doing, doing stuff, and then I think it helps to to did you fart? No, I heard that too. Uh, was that you? What was to that? Play it off? Jeremy, no, Jeremy is farting trying to. No, play I it off. swear. Okay, that wasn't me. <laughs> 
Let's get back on track. I heard that too, but you heard it too. I don't tell that one. Maybe the mic. No, Shit. but what was it? Oh yeah. Okay. So, um, but then that's not true. Like we're so discouraged. I feel yeah. Like. So that's I think me, when you're discouraged by um, what seems to be the world and how it works. Um, you, I, th- I feel like you have to go back and ask yourself, like, why I started in the first place. Why you started in the first place? Why it matters to you now? Uh, what it means? And why should I still pursue it? Yeah, you like the I mean? greater meaning that like ties everything together, mm-hmm. right? No, I definitely feel like feel like, like in the past, even now, I feel like sometimes discouraged to even do it just because, like, oh. It's not like a set future. Like if you're an art major, you're not set. Like if you're a business major, you're like, you can go into this company, or whatever, and you're set. You're kind of set. You have this in your back pocket, and yeah. you can take it out, and it'll be worth something. Like an artist, it's very competitive, especially in wherever you're at. Especially living in a city like in San Francisco, like it's hella competitive. Mm-hmm. People are trying to get spots into galleries right. and everything, you know. Right. So I don't know. It's just and then like this new emerging emerging technologies that are coming up. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah like digital media is better now than the traditional media you know what I mean so it's like you're trying to like represent this like I'm trying to represent the traditional you know I'm I think still for trying to me keep it strong you know yeah keep it going. yeah I want to keep it going I know? have that feeling too and especially early on in my artistic journey I had that feeling but I think the thing that drives me now and the thing that used to drive me is is very different like mm-hmm. d- I do share some qualities of that but at first it was I just wanted to be different like mm-hmm. being an artist saying that you want to be an artist is already different yeah that's one everyone else wants to do this this and that and mm-hmm. then you say you want to do art and some people give you shit for it oh, or, but other people, people like they just it's not a viable option mm-hmm. and me just wanting to rebel against um, that Mm-hmm. and just going into it was already a huge reason for me to Is continue it, it because you want to rebel you want to be a rebel Should kind I of kind different, of different? yeah and then the next step was what you kind of said wh- which is i i was like oh shit there's like a lot of emerging technologies a lot everything's going digital now yeah. and i didn't want to represent like the 2d and this is because i educated myself in a small segment I of guess art. So we're kind of used to like the new tra- or traditional ways, and now the new kids and new millennials that are coming in, they're yeah. like they're they're into digital stuff now. Yeah, yeah. So we're kind of like getting like over like. I wanted to mix the both. Like why yeah, why like, stick with one over the other? Yeah. Combine the beauties. You keep the traditional. It's still yeah. the, there's a beauty that's too traditional. Like yeah. this, you have it in front of you. You can feel it. You can touch it. You can. Yeah. Yeah. It's right there. It's not like a screen. It's not pixelated. You know, you right, want to see like right. the little, the thin little strands of hair that are coming out of the yeah. canvas or anything else. You know, like it's like, like looking at a, a picture on Instagram versus a printed picture up in your front face. You yeah, see how big it is. Where actually size impressive. actually matters. Yeah. Oh, well, does it sometimes? But you know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> yeah. It's it's up on the wall the scale of it actually changes your view on the artwork itself anyways I, I want I was saying as I was saying like so I that's how I saw art at first was me rebelling against like almost like humanity itself is it's just the feeling I had like yeah I'm like like I'm an art major yeah really and then t- exactly <laughs> and then two the second one was I want to do it in the old way and the new way like mm-hmm. fuck everyone doing the same thing and so I just want to be different I guess same thing that's there you go you want to be different I want to be the, different from the you want to be unorth- from, has it unorthodox unorthodox yeah, yeah. Unorthodox. so you want to throw punches from the from the from the, from the right side <laughs> from the right side <laughs> <laughs> unorthodox but no you want yeah you like you don't want to stick to the same yeah, thing that's yeah, the yeah. same boring thing that everybody takes and everything. Yeah. so I want something different I want to like take these art classes see what's up yeah. what, you know what I mean and now I think I have a new reason which is is because I keep asking myself the same question and the answer always changes. It's because I want to learn. I think my my answer now would be uh, <clears throat> like I want to learn to be a better communicator. Mm-hmm. I want to communicate my ideas in a visual sense, in a sound sense. 
I want to learn how to communicate through <clears throat> through this almost indirect um, way of communicating with people, right? Mm -hmm. When you speak to someone, you you learn, which is also super important, which is kind of why I like doing this. Mm -hmm. um, you get to communicate your your thoughts, thoughts and ideas and as clearly as you can. Sometimes not so clearly, and yeah. then and then you listen back to it, and you're like, okay, Should I made I no yeah. sense. I thought I sounded like the tone in my voice was like I'm saying some important like, shit, nah, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm saying a bunch of gibberish shit. Like, right. What the fuck am I saying? There? Like, right. And yeah. I'm interested in the different ways you can communicate with mm -hmm. with people. Visual communication. Yeah. And, and that's why I love art so much because people, when people view art, or let's say when people listen to music, they get more open-minded. They listen. To, you never hear. I rarely hear people say, oh my gosh, that song is so dramatic, or oh my gosh, that song is so preachy, or mm -hmm. oh, all these like, people don't really judge not, music. They're not judging yeah, what it says or anything, they're judging, I mean, kind of what it says, but like, overall, the sound. Yeah. If it's a good song. The rhythm, everything together. I mean, they're, there's collaboration, it's not, they're not separately taking every little piece right. and digesting that like oh they're taking it all in right with it's music it's a little different in music but like yeah. I don't know how it is with like I guess art like well I think you know? I think there are a lot of critics out there but in general people are open minded when they view something it's like when you go to the theater you're sitting down and when once you sit down you're already saying I'm watching this mm -hmm. right as opposed to like if, if you get into a conversation with someone and you start arguing um one maybe you weren't ready for it and two like it's mm -hmm. very direct and some people don't like confrontation and i think there's a way to to be like you like say we make a movie and someone sits down and and they're ready to watch it they're ready in that open mindset mm -hmm. where i'm watching a movie i'm saying for the most part mm -hmm. critics aside and they watch the movie and if it's a good piece of art they're more open to to listening to the message, mm -hmm. I think that's that's beautiful, and I it's think like how we were saying earlier, we were talking about this earlier off mic. You know, he's saying like, be open minded, be like optimistic about what you're gonna, what you're gonna take in. If, if you don't yeah. know it, just be still optimistic yeah. about yeah. this unknown so like subject that you don't know about. Right. Like, you know, right. just take it in, and see, think of what you already know, and try to take it in as what you already know. Like, but you don't need to be optimistic about it because yeah. you don't gotta talk shit about it. You <laughs> yeah. Take it in, see what it, what you think it is, and then I guess the artist could tell you, oh, this is what it is, and that, and like, oh, okay, now you know, like you, but you had an idea, you were still thinking. At, le at least we were thinking. You weren't just saying, oh, what the fuck is this, you know? Yeah. You were thinking, like, okay, yeah. well, this could be this and that. You're like analyzing. You can analyze it. Try to analyze what you're, what you're seeing, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's what people are like nowadays don't do that. They don't analyze. They're like, oh, okay, this looks ugly. Uh, why does it look ugly? What do you see that's ugly in that? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So people don't I think people are, are lacking the they're they're I guess they're trading the um how do I say this? They're being, I mean, feel like they're just being too judgmental by yeah, the way. They're like they're not even thinking about like why are you judgmental? Just stop, breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> <laughs> no. And yeah. Be calm and look at it. What, what do you smoke some if you need it. You gotta smoke a little bit, you know, if you need it. Yeah. Yeah. Take a little bit if you need it. <laughs> I think they're trading the. Cr what I was trying to say was they're trading the critical eye for comfort, um, for, for. Or at least to be comfortable with what they already have. Like. Yeah. Don't be comfortable. With that. Be uncomfortable. They're trying yeah. to see like, oh, they already like they want to be comfortable. They want to yeah. be like, this is ugly. Okay, we're gonna be like that. No, you just look at it and actually. Yeah. Say like why. I didn't know what the fuck we we're gonna talk about today. Yeah. And and I think you were nervous. I was nervous. We, were both, we don't know what the fuck we're gonna say. Right I don't know what the fuck I'm saying right now. <laughs> yeah. But the point is, even though you're scared, um, you still have to be open to let me critically say something about it, and and just be open to like not be scared and not be comfortable about. Yeah, people are scared of change. That's the thing. That's Anything people are scared of change, like any little change in anything, they'll be like, oh, they're scared, like, oh, I don't, that looks weird, or that, that sounds weird. Like, maybe you just never heard it, you just you gotta get used to it, yeah. you know. I think, <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, many things. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's the situation? Someone's screaming in here, like, the longest, just 
you like, you're gonna get used to it. Someone screaming in your ear, you just, why? That's weird, but let that happen a little longer. <laughs> it's like random stuff, you know? Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> That's a weird ass analogy. But yeah. I think maybe I half understand what you're saying. Yeah. But that's okay. I'm not gonna judge you for it. You just gotta let it flow. You gotta let it let it happen. Man. Um. Yeah. I think there's a there's a beautiful thing in research. There's a beautiful thing in things that are known to be true. Um, but at the same time, like that research wouldn't happen, wouldn't have happened if you didn't approach it with the same open mindedness um, as you should have. And so once you have this this knowledge that seems to be 100% true, but maybe it isn't, mm -hmm. you have to be open to discussion that, uh, like if someone else like bring something up like objectively like bringing up a point that that you feel hurt mm -hmm. you can't you can't feel hurt by that you have to be like oh why why did he do that yeah you have why to be do, why am i hurt like why? yeah why the fuck am i hurt i shouldn't be hurt yeah well, maybe i should be a little bit hurt yeah. but i shouldn't be that hurt yeah <laughs> <laughs> so, like, it's the most ugly you heard that i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we make sense right now, but, but no, that makes sense. Yeah, like yeah. Well, I forgot what I was gonna say it's blanked out, but yeah, it does make sense though. Yeah, that makes sense. But you have to be open minded. Yeah, like I remember I was telling you about like I was gonna thinking like transferring schools, like college. I was thinking my second year, I think. I was like, I don't like the school. I hate. I don't really like the people. And I was like, you know what? I gotta change. You know, it's like it's not the school that's gonna change. I gotta change. Yeah, my mindset. My like mindset's that. gonna change. My perspective of what was gonna come or whatever. Yeah. It's got to change. Yeah. Like, my thoughts on people in the school yeah. have to change. Like, okay, they're dick, but okay, they're right. cool dicks, maybe. They're cool. I don't know. Just like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's just yeah. like. But you're building yourself as an individual, yeah. as a stronger, yeah. better individual, sometimes more gotta, capable human yeah, being. You gotta take shit. Sometimes you just got to take it and just right. keep going, you know what I mean? The thing that I am scared of, and if it ever happens to me, I'm just going to remind myself, like, like, I can't feel too strongly about being in a lesser position like like for example like i can't like tell myself every day that because i'm asian like i'm not going to make it in the hollywood industry or something like that right i have to strengthen my myself by 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 yeah, like surrounding that, myself with thoughts that strengthen me no, i have that um, mentality like mentality yeah. too like a, like because i'm mexican like shit am yeah. i gonna the races have slipped out can i be this famous artist a mexican famous artist you know what i mean that's also the, yeah the thought that you always have like but, yeah but it shouldn't be like we should but it's like what can i do yeah. despite all that shit all the right shit that, bruce lee you know, he became the it. biggest thing in the fucking universe in in the time of his life mm -hmm. no one referred to him as that skinny asian man with the hair they referred to him as bruce lee bruce he, tr lee. he bruce transcended race and he broke all barriers but one can say may, like he probably he may have not even thought that he was just saying i'm doing my shit i believe it so strongly he doesn't even care about what's going he on he doesn't fucking care he executed and that's that and maybe he executed too hard which is why he died so early but also his son, his son you know his son yeah died too yeah, he was in got the movie shot. The crow. have you seen the crow i haven't seen it that's but i've seen the shot. trailer i've seen he the got trailer. shot in the movie yeah, yeah. that's pretty, pretty good. You gotta watch the crows. That shit seems movie. set up. I should watch it. Yeah, Brandon crow. Lee, right? Yeah, it's Brandon's son. He's a really good actor in that movie. He died in the set, yeah. Yeah. And it's they use some other fucking movie. crazy. Uh, sad, you know. That he died. It is sad. He was barely, he was barely coming up in that movie. That's what he, I think. He, yeah, dude, that's when they he was breaking out. That the is movie. so sad. The crow. Yeah. Damn. Like you die as a like maybe Bruce Lee he had died doing what he loved, you know. Yeah, I, I mean, still, yeah, yeah. Sad, I mean, it, it'd be nice to have a Bruce Lee male offspring. I don't, I don't like. I know, <laughs> I know he had like two daughters, but well, something about he was a little hoe. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Lee, you little hoe. We know you little. We already know he he looked good. He looked Bruce Lee. So, he I had mean, the lats. He had the bod bod. Come on, he. There's some girls like, hey, yo Lee, what you doing, <laughs> <laughs> yo Lee? <laughs> Let me see that. You got all the white girls. You got the all. Oh, you saying. got the white girls. You got the yeah. white girls. The white girls. So you already know. Like, this is the lesson here, guys. Primal stuff. Right like here. fucking. It is not the place and the position and the appearance of the human being that that. Um, we gotta take that off. 
to the side. Yeah. Okay, they they look good or that looks bad. But like even if it what? is true. But what? Yeah. Even if it is true. Even if it is <laughs> if a little ugly, true. If they're ugly or if they're really hot, whatever. Yeah. But why? Like okay, and take it off to the side. Like I'm gonna see what's in those layers. You know, see more. Yeah. Deeper into that. <laughs> I'm trying to think of an analogy, but I couldn't think of one. Yeah. <laughs> I like you, you're like, yeah. Like, what? What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh I don't know. I've been thinking a lot today, and I, I have no, I, I, I had a lot on my mind. And sometimes, I don't know, going back to the being comfortable with being uncomfortable was that yeah, being some comfortable with being uncomfortable. Yeah, you say yeah, some yeah. shit that makes no fucking sense. You and you're okay with it and then you come back to that thought and you try to make it coherent again or you try to build off that thought instead of saying oh shit i didn't make s-. like but getting no, all okay. discouraged and like uh, you bitch i'm that stupid person. and you bitch that, that discouraged person bitch yeah no <laughs> keep on going keep going <laughs> <laughs> you're crying a little bit you're crying. <laughs> all right all right but in a supportive manner in a supportive manner we're bitch, bitch slapping you yeah we're bitch slap supportive manner yeah like that's what homies are for, yeah. I think. Yeah. So if you get in a rut, I'll bitch slap you real just quick. Bitch slap, like, get it, get just, 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 a, just a little. Just a little slap, like a, just a, little, a little joke. Just like a little. Oh shit, that's three right there. Hold <laughs> <laughs> on. That's a little bit too much. We bleed into my nose a little bit. <laughs> damn, right in, right in the center of the nose. <laughs> right in the center. Damn. Damn <laughs> 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 the cheek. Right in the cheek. Center of the nose. You're aiming for the nose, though. I mean. Straight, oh, oh, straight through your your cranium. Oh damn! <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like a little gentle slap, but yeah. yeah. But um, that's some yeah. true shit. So. That's some true shit. Some true shit. Some primal stuff right there. Man. Some primal shit. I mean, it's it's always about that balance, and I think that we don't want to be aliens with big ass heads and skinny bodies in the future, like. Like maybe in the future it'll be like Wally, and in the yeah, and the fucking um, like wheelchairs taking us wherever. Like. Yeah, the one person that can run run really fast is gonna be Superman because no one can do that shit. Okay. And the Olympics will be like basically like some crazy shit. Be like robots Olympics. Yeah, <laughs> I mean if you think about it nowadays, like you know, yeah. the athletes are taking so much steroids st- and shit. Not st- I feel like. It's more advanced than steroids. Like some other stuff. Like they it is ge- some other they shit. genetically like in advanced like stuff. Like you know what yeah. I mean? That they yeah. have like like putting a genes. second like bicep or yeah, something. Like, or like yeah, he's putting like, some genes into like a person. Like oh, making them faster or making them stronger, or making yeah. them bigger, taller. Like what the fuck? They're making they're making robots, but they're making freaking animals. Mm-hmm. Robot animals. It's fucking crazy. You know I, mean? I want to see like a a ch- baby chimp wrestle like the best wrestler in the world. I want to see what happens with that because I know chimps are fucking strong. Chimps are strong. They can like, they, they could their muscle mass they're is like at least like I've three times. Their body fat like is very low. They're, you know, they, yeah. All they eat is like they're know, ripped. They're vegan. Like, are they vegans? <laughs> they only eat I like grasses and shit like that. I don't know, but I what I've heard is like they'll rip off the ear of another like Person? chimp and like like, like rip, nothing. They'll like. I think they would, like, rip their butthole like and shit like that. Do you rip their butthole? Like, how do you like even it. rip a butthole? <laughs> how do you even rip a butthole? <laughs> I don't know, but <laughs> you go in, I don't know what they do. They do some hole? shit about the asshole is all I remember. Oh, my God. Goes <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no. They go crazy. It's primal stuff right there. Yeah. That's scary. And we yeah. forget that some crazy shit happens. And when someone calls you names... You get offended, and some people's—I I will say—some people's feelings hurt more than others. Mm-hmm. But like fucking people used to rip people's heads off. That's all I'm saying. People used to chop people's heads off back in the days in the Renaissance. You know? Yeah. They used to have those. What are they called? The gat gatlings or whatever they call it. What are they called? The little knives that would. Come oh, the, the guillotine. The blades. The yeah. Guillotine. Yeah, there you go. The like the What's the thing that they do? They, they impale. Sh- they impale them through their butthole to their head and shit. Holy Kings used to do shit, that. What the from their butthole to the head. Yes. Oh my I think I think the first. Those coffins, you know what I'm I think about? the first. The spike coffins. I think the w- the Dracula idea comes from this guy named Vladimir something. Let me see if I can look it up. Jeremy's going Vlad- to Google. Vladimir. Actually, not that going to Google. <laughs> Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin. Vladimir. He's, he does Putin. that shit. Oh shit. No. Vladimir think, Impaler. Yeah, Vlad the Impaler. That's where it came from. The That's word. Yeah. Oh, maybe it came from the word. Yeah, it came from like the Dracula dude. He was. Looks a, funny. Let's see. Yeah, it's a painting 
15, 60. Um, let's see. He let was me born see. 1428. A long ass fucking time long ago. A long ass time before we even. Yeah. Vlad went to I Transylvania, know. blah, blah, blah. Let me see it right here. <coughs> national hero. He's a national hero. Probably. I don't know, this shit is crazy, but this is like some real life shit, and he used to like get people killed um, through the butthole, straight to the head. Damn. Yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll search for some hurts so images. much. Straight from your butthole, all the way straight to your head. Yeah. This, and this guy's mustache I think is like there's no There's a other. picture comparing him to, go up to the Twilight dude. Really? To Robert Pattinson, whatever. Oh, really? There's oh, a shit. picture of... Oh, shit. Twilight's Robert Pattinson is a distant relative of Vlad the Impaler. How do they even know that? It That's kind of funny because he's like a vampire. A Dracula and all that stuff. Or whatever. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. I guess there are movies about mommy. him. But yeah, but look into him. He's... Um, you know Vlad when you look at some shit and, you, and then you forget everything the next day? Vlad the Impaler. Yeah, that's what's happening with me. I will, now I know, whenever the word impale comes, I'm a, like, comes up, I'm like, oh shit, I'm gonna think about this da- Dracula oh, dude. He was murdered. He was impaled through his asshole? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That'd be pretty great if he was. Damn. Anyways, fuck that shit. I was looking up um, things happening in the world, mm-hmm. um, but I think I lost it. I lost it. You <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I should, have, I should have brought that shit up. You took it out. You actually did. Yeah. But. Who was saying butthole piercing? <laughs> <laughs> how did the topic come up? Like, what? You know, like, some crazy shit happens. Like, like how people used to kill people back in the okay, day? Yeah. I mean. That's all I'm saying. They had those spike coffins. You remember those? One of those? They're like spikes on the oh, back. And they oh, put and you in they, they, they close it up. They close it up. Yeah, I don't know if this was from a movie or what, but I think this was like from dungeons, a movie. Like dungeons, like you know those little kinky stuff. They used to. It's not kinky, kinky stuff. That's probably brutally kinky, like you die. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, like fucked up sexual shit. Yeah. Uh, I hate that shit. I watched this um this porno? one. Oh, okay. No, it was it was worse than a porno. <laughs> it was worse than a porno. Yeah, it was. Maybe it was like, worse than a porno. <laughs> I guess pornos aren't bad. Uh, <laughs> it was a bad thing. Mm-hmm. I watched a documentary on this Japanese guy, mm-hmm. and. He was this murderous cannibal. And there's this one image of, I think they said like he had long arms and he would just drag like these suitcases and there were people. So what happened was he lived in Japan. And he, he moved to, uh, I think he moved to some European uh, place. France? If I, maybe, I, I don't, I don't I quite I remember. Him, I think I've seen him yeah? too, but he went to Europe, yeah. And he saw this. And he met a girl. And he met a girl. Yes, yes you watched this one? I think so, yeah. And he, she was really it. nice to him. And by the end... By the end... She, did he kill he her? He invited her to... Or she, I think maybe she, one of them invited the other one. Uh-huh. And then... Oh, yeah, but she didn't... He's, he said he didn't want to, like, brutally sure. do uh-huh. it. So what he did... He said he said initially he just wanted to bite her ass cheek. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you remember this? I think I remember a little bit. Yeah, and so what she (laughs) did, what he did was he shot her. He shot her and then, like, cut her up and, like, put her in the fridge and shit. Yeah, it's some brutal shit. And I think he might have even, like, made some dish out of her. It's fucking nasty. But, like, just maybe try to ask her. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> what to the, ask her. Like, like, you didn't have to kill her. You could be like, um, you, I think you're really nice, but I'm gonna, I want to eat you. Can I have a little piece of your ass cheek? Yeah. So I won't have to kill you. you. Just give me a little piece, and we're all good. You yeah. know what I mean? I mean, yeah. He could have been like, I had, like, he could have like threatened her. Like he had the gun. I'm not telling him wh- what he. It's, it's still <laughs> terrible. Yeah, it's still, still terrible. Still very, like, very terrible. terrible. But I'd rather it's she terrible. live. It's I'd rather she live. Yeah. That's all I'm he's saying. Like Apparently, he he went to jail and got out. And he's, he's a mindset of like cannibals are crazy. What the hell goes through your head? Like you want to eat someone? Like you want to physically just bite their finger? Like so I watched I watched this other documentary about another cannibal guy on a different occasion. I didn't mm-hmm. rampage through cannibal stories. <laughs> this was through, a different so day. So this stories. is a different day, and I think we all have it. Like people who love murder mysteries want to understand the murderer, like, right? Yeah, wants to understand the yeah. mindset. Like why the hell he killed him? Or why did he do this? Exactly. Mm-hmm. 
and like they're explaining there's this guy was in jail and before he was executed for his cannibalism he was explaining the fact that he had this image um he had this like dream that he would always dream like that he would walk on the street and then a car would go by and he would do one of those like let me get in your car what's that called hitchhiking hitchhiking you go you do one of these yeah. signs <laughs> let me go inside yeah so he would try to hitchhike in this dream and have this man and he would kill this man and or something and like eat him or some shit this was like a dream a reoccurring dream that he had and he said one day that happened to him he hitchhiked and he killed this guy and actually like brought him to his dungeon or some shit and there's Wait, he was the hitchhiker yeah he was the hitchhiker he's one of we live his dream probably <laughs> yeah he wants to relive his that dream. dream that he did that he mm-hmm. had. What? um and another thing that he was saying is that he wanted to ex he wanted to explore how it felt to have i think he said how he wanted to know what it was like to have that power over someone i think that was one thing and another thing was like he wanted to explore like um, with his mouth or some shit it was so weird and like one psychologist lady was like this is how child yeah, like, I was just saying, like how do they come up like through, as a right. kid like how, how do they right how do they grow up well know? i don't know but like, like that usually affects like, yeah the, yeah yeah the um well for the japanese guy going back and forth back to that story yeah the, japanese guy, the yeah. back japanese guy child he said he had this uncle that used to chase him and play games like I'm gonna eat you like have these little mm-hmm. games and apparently it was, was he maybe it was I don't know maybe that's why um, but you see like they're so it was bringing up to, back to their childhood if you think about it yeah. it really is like you don't really hear about the story like oh they have a good childhood and everything and I don't know where I'm gonna fucking eat you you know yeah. <laughs> like what like what is that even yeah. you bored out of your mind <laughs> like yeah. <laughs> you, I'm, like, I'm bored as fuck right now <laughs> like, I'm gonna eat your fucking bitch <laughs> like what I don't understand what it is and I think the the second guy I mentioned he like he like drilled some people in the head wanted to make them zombies or something he wanted to like make them like slaves like make them stupid and make them like listen to what he says so he wants to like drill a little bit piece of their brain I, well, to I make them like dumb I don't like fucking understand they're gonna be they're gonna eat they're not gonna be zombies they're gonna be able to it's eat so you it's so tragic yeah yeah oh my god so dumb. <laughs> they're, like, they're just gonna be dumb, but they're not gonna eat you. They're not gonna be zombies. They're not gonna be I zombies. Don't, I don't know. know some sick science experiment. Like uh, it, he said, he started with like, oh, this is what he did when he was a kid. He used to like kill little animals and rabbits and used to dissect them. I used to actually kill iguanas. Really? Not kill. I used to chop up their tails. What? I was full of murders. <laughs> I go get little animals <laughs> and like mess with them a little oh, bit. Shit. But I, I'm fine. I don't kill you. I'm not a killer. <laughs> Okay, Jeremy's like, <laughs> oh Jeremy backs away. Back to the edge of my seat right now. Yeah, like, no. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, like, I guess these little things that would change, like, when you're growing up. But yeah. if you keep doing it, like, every time, like, okay, maybe there's, there's something wrong. Like, you're doing it too yeah. much. Like, you're liking it too much, you know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta, like, have, like, a different outlet, you know? Yeah. Put him into soccer, yeah. put him into basketball yeah. or something, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. you gotta do something yeah. else. Yeah. Like, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the story about That's the story. Yeah. Wait, wait, what was the main story that we were talking about? Like, why did it bring up the cannibal? What, what cannibal? Like, I, think, I think it started, the thread started as, like, me, like, just saying something stupid about... Oh, what's, what's going on over there? Oh, the candle is on. Wait, so you're okay. just a little scary, Jeremy, to be honest? It is creepy. It's, it's, I can't see what's inside. I'm kind of scared of not seeing things that I can't see, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like somebody's gonna walk up. Let me just, turn on. Let me go turn on the light inside. Jeremy's going in first. Mm. I'll stay out here in the light. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! That's good. Yeah. Actually, someone did call Jeremy at the same time. Coincidence. Someone called me. Oh, they're coming in right here. They're coming to the room. Oh what? I, I'm gonna take the carpet out oh, for right now. now? Yes. Oh, okay. Are, are you are doing some? Oh no, we we can oh, go we'll back done. inside. Yeah, we'll, huh? go, we'll go inside. We need yeah. to take the carpet from the outside, so we're cool? gonna end it here. Uh, it's pretty cold. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. how do we end it now? Because so and this one? Yeah. And no, no, no. no. You, you stay at home. Alright, so um, I think we're gonna end the podcast here. Uh, we gotta head out to our homies.
To the homies, we're having a little kickback. We're gonna yeah. drink a little bit. I think I like this podcast because we can just go in and talk about yes. whatever. It's life, you know. Life is life. Yeah. Um, but if there's any aspect in this podcast that if anyone is listening, if which anyone I doubt, out there, hopefully we have a number one fan out there. It <laughs> <laughs> could be ourselves. You yeah. listen to this all the time. If there's something in this podcast you really like. You're vibing with us, and let, let us, us know, know like what do you like, what what topics you like, what what moments were the yeah. best moments out of the podcast. You know, I like being oh, you silly do? as fuck. Yeah, I like being a weirdo, but sometimes we get we get deep we get, into we the, get deep in shit into that primal shit. Yeah, you know? we get we get intellectually primal. Intellectually primal. I like that. Yeah. So next time we're gonna be talking about postmodernism. I'm scared. Oh damn! You know? <laughs> it's all these random topics that we, that we don't even know about. <laughs> Sounds fancy, but That's we're gonna talk so about it. <laughs> well, maybe we can start the podcast more with like some new shit. Like maybe something that we barely know about. That's one like thing. Like something that we heard in the day. Like oh shit, what is this? Like I never heard it. Or like yeah. what do you think about this? Like you know. Yeah, maybe we can bring something up in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> or like what's it. going on in the world or yeah, you're saying something. or something in the day that happened we're like okay this happened yeah. this bitch becky you know <laughs> you know like yeah. like it could be a little gossipy you know yeah we like gossip you know i think we should start do you, it depends do we want to start large or do we want to start petty and small like becky hmm do we want to talk about bitch becky or like globally like we could start big, you know. Let's start. I don't big. know. We're okay, like let's calm ourselves. Yeah, we're like getting heated. And we I think we back. should start big. Um, let's like, what people maybe something that people should be paying attention to, and then right after, right after that, get into the bullshit. Get into the real bullshit. Yep. The real bullshit. The real but, bullshit. But yeah, thank you for listening, guys, and um, hope you have a good Thanksgiving break. Cause right now we didn't even say the date <laughs> of this podcast. No. So, so today is a Saturday. Is 11, 18, 2017. November eighteenth. November eighteenth of two thousand seventeen. Yeah. That's the first podcast of me and Jeremy, Armando and Jeremy. Hope you guys like it. And um, yeah, Till catch then. you guys later. Catch you later. Um, catch you on the other side, I guess. Catch yeah, you on the on other the... side because we're on this side, but then the listeners then the uh, other side. Catch That's you dumb one, but on the digital table of magnificence. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> We're gonna end up here, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Sorry, but yeah. All right, I'm going. I'm, I we need to go. Bye. Jeremy says bye. I say bye. Bye. bye.